Uh, let's have a look at this um, scenario. I do have the um, the Twisted Mexi mod in, so all the scenarios are still available, even the ones that were um, limited time that have gone. If you don't have the mod, they've disappeared forever and ever. Um, but I have the mod to put them in. So we have the Carnival one, the New Year one still there, the Surviving the Holiday ones is there now and they've listed them as difficulties as well so we've got honeymooners which i haven't played still this was added in the patch that came with my wedding stories as was engaged in conflict which i haven't done i haven't done the celebrate carnival one although that one's ridiculously easy you literally have to just dance to some carnival music and you're done that that you can do in like five seconds flat um new year new hustles um good you can get a new skill the new ones uh, unlucky chef, rom com, extraterrestrial researcher, no skills, no problem, troublemaker, super rich, super villain. And there, there are two of these. You're part way through the unlucky chef. Is it is it difficult, so? Because it's listed as hard. I think it's the only one that's listed as hard. The rest are easy or intermediate. That one's the only one that's listed as hard. What do you have to do? A sim is certain their destiny is to become a world famous chef. There's just one little problem. This sim is way more likely than most people to accidentally start fires while cooking. It's not merely a lack of skill, it's just some freakish bad luck. Can the sim survive the dangerous journey to culinary excellence or will they decide that playing with fire isn't for them? Still making fancy drinks seems like a safe route to success. It's not easy, but it's not super hard. Like, it's definitely doable. Oh, I saw that Doc was doing it. Um, I haven't watched it yet because with the time zone change, I have not caught any Dr. Glow on for ages. Normally, anyway. Like, normally, if I manage to catch the end of his stream, it's for, like, the last 10 minutes of stream and that's it. Um, but now he finishes an hour earlier. Like, there's no way I'm watching it, not for at least until we turn the clocks forward. Um... All posted. Oh, thanks. I'll have a look at those in a sec. Um, so, you need to start with one sim who is a young adult or older. The sim becomes a celebrity chef despite the danger. Or the sim becomes a celebrity mixologist. It's a safer choice. Ooh, that's exciting. And I like how you can play with an existing household as well. They've added this in. So, if you have a household that you want them to do the scenario, you can do that now. And I, I wish that that had been a thing from the start, but I like that you can do it. Um, let me see, what else is there? Rom-com. Two engaged sims have a great friendship, but the romance has died. It's complicated, doesn't even begin to describe their relationship. Can an aspiring comedian find humour in their personal life, make it big in showbiz, and keep their personal life from falling apart? So, you start with two sims who are young adult, and they must be engaged. There's super villain one also seems good i'm gonna have a look at them i want to look at all the new ones so the potential outcomes for the rom-com one are um a sim makes to the comedian branch of the entertainer career and got their initial romantic relationship to lovers or greater um the comedian branch but broke up with their initial partner um comedian branch and he's currently soulmates with their initial partner and then comedian branch um and their initial partner has moved out or is deceased what <laughs> oh my god so you start out with two sims who are engaged to each other or one of them has to go to the comedian branch regardless and then the other one it doesn't really matter they can be they can stay together they can break up or they can die <laughs> the heck okay okay that's that's fine that's fine extraterrestrial researcher a sim obsessed with outer space knows we cannot be alone in the universe and this sim is determined to discover all there is to know about extraterrestrial creatures unfortunately getting into space is not so easy you need a lot of spare time and possibly money to go looking for these mysterious critters the first step build a diy rocket that can take the sim to space and back home again safely more or less um how hard can it be so one sim who's younger or older um bring back five unique living alien critters from voyages into space that might not be difficult but it might just take some time because you need to obviously build the rocket ship you need to do at least some of the upgrades i don't know if you need to do all of them but you need to do at least some of them and have a decent rocket science skill to do the ones that you need to get into space 
And then when you go to space, it's a little bit RNG as to whether you bring back a like, living alien um, species or not. Sometimes you just crash, which is fun. Sometimes you just bring back rocks. Sometimes you bring back dead alien species. So that one's a bit RNG, but I can't, it wouldn't be that difficult, I don't think. Just long winded. No skills, no problem. A sim cannot seem to ever get more skillful at, well, anything. It's made everything more difficult from interpersonal relationships to holding a steady job. And as a result, they've had, they've, they've had to become quite resourceful, figuring out ways to work harder or smarter than everyone else. Can this unskilled sim figure out how to hack life and earn some sweet simoleons? Household funds will be set to zero after moving in. So you have to earn 400,000 simoleons. So it's basically racks to riches, but you don't need to get the million this time. But the last one, the making money one, it's you have you start with zero, but then you get to a million. This is 400,000. And we know we know how to do that, don't we? Um, which which particular sim do you have to marry to get that straight away? Um, Clement Frost has half a million simoleons. So you could literally just move in, make a, a holiday for the next day, make it a winter fest or make Father Winter come along, whatever it's called, and then just marry him and then you've got half a mil. So <laughs> you already beat that by a hundred. Um, I think the proper way to do it is to like do a, get a job <laughs> or something but um you could absolutely just marry someone or move or mo even just move into someone's house and have a, th a 400 000 simoleons move into like judy ford's house um troublemaker oh this this has got kids in it this is a family one which is nice most of the rest are just like have someone who's a young adult or older this one's got kids well teens so Moving to a new town and a new school could be a fresh start for a teen who's been more interested in causing mayhem than doing homework up until now. Will this teen turn things around and improve their grades at their new school or turn the school upside down with more mischief? So you need two sims who are adult or older, not young adult, adult. One teen sim, the adult sims are married and they are parents of the teen sim and the outcomes are the teen is at least a B student and has five friends. The teen is an A student or teen is partners in crime with another sim and has done at least one school prank successfully. This feels easy. This feels quite easy. You could absolutely do this really, really quickly. If you were trying to speedrun it, I mean, you know, if you wanted to do it like normal playthrough kind of style, it would still be fairly easy. Um, I've never had a kid not get an A at school. So like, it's really easy to get A's at school. Also, our battle is ready. We'll do that in just a second. Um, the super rich super villain. This looks fun. <laughs> this looks fun. Working as a secret agent can make a sim cynical about the world, but it also means a lot of time spent wearing glamorous clothing, playing high stakes poker, and being very picky about how your drinks are prepared. That luxurious lifestyle is appealing. But why settle for just being rich when you can also be a villainous? That's it, yeah. Either get an A, get a B and have five friends, or just have a partner in crime and ha do some pranks. But yeah, just get an A. How easy, I mean, I'm gonna guess that they might tweak it so your sim kid starts lower than a C. Maybe they start on an F and you have to work the way up, but still, all they need to do is go to school, do their homework. And it's super easy. You can just give them a bunch of projects to do, build the performance up. Right, I'm done. Get an A within two weeks of the game. Maybe even within one week if you're lucky. Um, so yes, this one you have... Oh, household funds will be set to zero. Oh, this is another rags to riches style one. Um, one sim who is young adult over. Um, I have 500,000 simoleons whilst in the villain branch of the secret agent career. Ooh. Yeah, the 100 baby challenge hacks coming in handy. Exactly, exactly. If um, if you've ever played 100 baby and you know the 100 baby hacks, um, if you've ever speed run anything, and you said sped run, speed run, that's the past tense of speed run, to speed run. <laughs> um, if you've ever done any speed running or anything like that, um, those kind of hacks, if you've ever watched Bruce Momo, <laughs> for instance, um, then you'll know what to do to get those kind of things done very quickly. And then they've changed the too many toddlers one. So the original one was different. I can't remember which one's which now though. Um, so you only need three toddlers still. 
And they need to reach level three in four skills. That's all. Can the world sim? Can I sim massive those of caring for a bunch of toddlers provide all the attention they need? Yeah, so the mod that I've got in, the unlocks all the scenarios mod, they couldn't figure out a way to remove it's it's by Twisted Mexi. Um they couldn't figure out a way to remove the old toddler one, so now there are two toddler ones. But, but yeah, <laughs> so I don't know which one's the old one, which is the new one now. Why is the past tense of speedrun, speedrun? It could be speedrun, speedrun, speedrun. <laughs> it's speed, yeah. <laughs> I was like, speedrun? It's not, is it? It's speedrun. <laughs> speedrun. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. It just, they all sound weird. So, shall we set up a poll? I want to set up a poll and we can see which one we want to do. So, we want to, there's either super rich, super villain, troublemaker, no skills, no problem extraterrestrial researcher rom-com or unlucky chef so the six new ones i don't want to do the toddler one because we've we've done the toddler one before well i've done the toddler one before so let me man how many options can you have on the twitch polls can you have that many um new poll um which scenario um we've got super rich super villain um troublemaker um no skills no problem um ooh, 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 ooh. And then there's another three and i've only got space for two um I'll tell you what, we won't do Troublemaker because that one's way too easy. Um, extra terrestrial, if I can spell terrestrial, <laughs> um, researcher, um, rom com, or unlucky chef. Now, depending on which one we choose, we might not have time for more than one today. We'll see how we go. Um, I'll put that. On just a, we'll put it on, we'll put it on two minute. We'll put it on a two minute. There we go. Start that poll. So you can vote now. The poll should be above chat. I do have it set so you can add extra votes with bits or with um, channel points if you want to as well. If there's a draw and you want to boost your favourite, um, let's see, which one we're we gonna guess. Three votes for Super Rich Super Villain. So far, that one's in the lead. So Super Rich Super Villain was you start with no money, so it's kind of a rags to riches, and you have to end up with 500,000 simoleons whilst you're in the villain branch of the secret agent career. Now, I don't know when the secret branch comes in. Um, oh, now there's a draw between the Super Rich Super Villain and the Unlucky Chef. Oh, it's like a balance. Ooh, remember, like I said, you can use your channel points or bits if you want to boost the one that you really want oh there's a battle going nobody wants no skills no problem <laughs> it's like no one wants that one that one's fine um it's a a draw between super rich super villain and unlucky chef so let me see secret agent career sims 4 when does the villain branch split off let me have a, a mooch and have a look on carl sims guide as always um let me see Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. i think it's level seven yeah so you need to get to at least level seven level eight level eight is when you join the the villain career so level eight nine ten eleven no that's weird why is it on level 11. this is 11 careers no no what uh, oh, it's such a oh, super rich super villain is pulling into the lead with half the votes right now. And we need to have a 500,000 simoleons. I mean, that's fairly easy to get. We, we're we not going to get that through the career, are we? Oh, unlucky chef won like the last second. So we contributed 300 channel points. <laughs> so we've really wanted that one. So there's the unlucky chef one is this one <laughs> that came up from behind it is <laughs> that's like who did that i don't know how that one that's just completely blown me away what a what a shock <laughs> uh right so the 
the one we're gonna go with is Unlucky Chef, which is hard difficulty. Thanks, so appreciate you. <laughs> we need to be a chef in the chef career. A celebrity chef as well, or celebrity mixologist. Is that, is celebrity chef a, a job title? It is, isn't it? And then celebrity mixologist is one as well. I don't know about that one. I know that celebrity chef, I think is a job title. Or do we just need to be a mixologist and then also have some fame? I think it's a job title. Mm, let me let me uh, let me call Sims guide this. Hold on, um, mixologist career Sims four. Um, call Sims guide as always. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. So you start out in the culinary career: assistant dishwasher, head dishwasher, caterer, mixologist, line cook. And then if you go to the mixology career branch, you become a, it's level 10. Yeah, it goes head mixologist, juice boss, chief drink operator, drink master, and then celebrity mixologist. And the same goes for the chef one. If you go for the chef route, it goes head caterer, pastry chef, sous chef, executive chef, celebrity chef. So either way, we've got to be level 10. Hey, all the way, Beckleberry, how you doing? Yeah, it is level 10, yeah. And we love Carl and his Sims guy. We do. We do. Is Carl... Um, is Carl a, an EA game changer? Slash creator network person? Because cause he should be. <laughs> if it's not. Should be accepted onto that. Right, here we go. Unlucky chef. New household. Let's go. I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> Look how you can add a gate. I love how you can do this now. Love that. Let's add a new scenario save. Ooh. Surely. You'd think so, but I don't know. Um, shall we randomize from the gallery? No, because they might already have some skills. We'll just randomize normally. I kind of want them to be like... Randomized because the gallery has some really pretty sims, but sometimes they, they've given them skills and that's an unfair advantage, I guess. And let's randomize you because you're very pretty, let's but also I want to see what else we get. Oh, wow. With like the, this blue hair. Also, yeah, I have, um, I have the candy shop skins in. You can, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you come down to the bottom here, there's the dice button, which is randomized, and then there's the the gallery icon which is now a light bulb and you can click that and it just brings sims off the gallery look at look at this is this one always comes down this one is always the first one you get but someone's made this sim but they already have they're a spellcaster they already have traits aligned they already have a name um i'm gonna so i'm gonna guess that they already have skills and stuff but then you can click it again and it brings another sim. <gasps> Professor Max Milton? Look at these. Somebody's made this and put them on the gallery. And they already have their traits aligned and everything. But like I said, sometimes they already have money. They already have skills. They might already have a career. So then you can just go back to randomizing regularly from Cass. And uh, it just brings up a, a baby fresh sim. And like, Remember? these stay for whatever oh, reason. <gasps> Ooh. In fact, I'm going to bring in a new sim because I don't know if that one's altered this one. Oh, yeah. I was saying I have some CC in. I have the berry sims. Um, I think it's candy shop skin tones. And, like, there's different hairs as well. So this is how I got that purple hair. Um, Let's see. Let's do another randomize. I'm not sure I've had you before. That, that's... That's a choice of lipstick with that color hair and that skin tone, but you know, you do you. That's abs that's fine. <laughs> and let's keep going. She's really pretty, actually. And as usual, I'm going with a female sim because I never play with male sims. Her bone structure, though. Very pretty. I like you. I'm going to change the hair, but I like you. I like you. Maybe we'll change the color of the hair. I like your face. Um, not so very challenge vibes with that mint blue sim. Yes, exactly. Well, that's why I downloaded the skins and stuff after we're done with breeding the weird. I kind of had a very, very not so berry kind of things that I wanted to do. So basically not so berry, but berry. 
because the whole joke about not so berry was that you didn't need to make berry sims but i'm gonna make them berry sims <laughs> so a very berry not so berry um let me see let's have a, a moochie moochie i love this hair i love this hair i didn't like the original version of it it looked just too plasticky but this with the new texture in it i love um it is though it is randomizing a sim that you like is already the challenge absolutely is um that lilac hair though she's so pretty she's beautiful and what outfits have you been given my love what outfits have they given you this randomize your every day that's your formal your formal and your everyday are almost the same just saying this is your athletic wear okay sleepwear that's fine can i get rid of this because it's like kind of blocking this whole thing <laughs> can i get rid of this please can you go away it's because i've got the extra columns in <laughs> you can't click on those so we're gonna have to just guess and see what they are um i'm gonna random i'm not gonna randomize i'm gonna do that one um it's in the top right corner oh yeah 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you red or orange hair for fire well so saying that oh, just ignore the boobs ignore the boobs um i'm doing the um the elemental legacy which was created by bella lasai and jake david um formerly jake david btg um and the first sim has to be fire themed and they have to go into the chef career so i've already got like a red or orange hair sim in a chef career so it's so really really similar to that right let me see what this one wears like ignore the boobs that's not too bad i mean i'm gonna take the leggings off and the eyeball ring but just the shorts that's not bad that goes nice <laughs> the purple is cute yeah 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 um and the cold weather wear you know what you know what the, this sim has been fairly lucky yeah boobs boobs don't look at the boobs don't look at the boobs no we're not, we're not gonna pay attention to those i'm gonna go into styled looks for their formal and every day everything else is fine Ooh, i love this dress i adore this dress every time i see it i'm like oh, i have to put it on look at this how like the back the the b down the back drops away and it's actually 3d there are so many layers that like you can see inside this bit here like i'm so used to some of the sims cast items being flat that when you get this dress and everything's kind of textured and 3d look at that these bumps on the hip as well it blows my mind it's really really pretty and the colors that it comes in she can go with purple to match her hair or this blue with the, like the flowers on this bit oh, God, God, uh -huh. no um do the new challenge as well what do you mean the new scenario with oh, the new challenge what pack is this from this is from the kit this is from the um fashion street kit hello oh you okay the picture's freaking out yeah that's what we're doing we're doing the chef one yes that's exactly what we're doing um, I'm just giving her some pretty outfits. Well, uh, no. Not that she'll ever wear formal. She's never going to wear formal, let's be honest. But, um, you know, I'm going to give her something pretty to wear. I mean, this can be her every day. <laughs> this can be her every day. Oh, no, no. Incheon. Incheon Arrivals had some really, really nice, comfy looking clothes. You know, this is, I love this okay okay that's what she's gonna wear for her everyday one yeah so we're doing let's randomize a name for her roxanne 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 cherry okay roxanne cherry that's great randomize traits what's gonna be good for this pack for this um this challenge this scenario a fire counter <laughs> no <laughs> No, I have to take time to set all that up. But can you imagine? <laughs> foodie, creative. Yes. Okay, so we've already got foodie, actually. That was randomized. So that's good. Um, I get rid of meme. We don't need meme. Creative. These sims tend to be inspired and can share creative ideas with the sims and may become upset if they're not creative for a period of time. So they're inspired 
And if they're inspired, they make better food. Technically. I mean, we might be able to get around this. If you remember, if anybody remembers when Dr. Gluon did the um, the hotel challenge with Basil, the first one, and they had um, the curse lot tray on. Lona, maybe? Lona might be a good one. So that I haven't got to socialize all the time. That's, that's not a bad idea. It's not a bad show dress. But yeah, if you remember, Dr. Gluon did it. And every single time they cooked something that needed cooking, there was a fire. So basically, you live on things that don't require a stove, like salad and tiramisu. <laughs> basically, just salad all the time. If it needs a stove, you don't cook it. Now, I don't know what the rules are going to be in place for this challenge, this scenario. Whether even if you make a salad, it sets on fire. I don't know. So much garden salad. And remember when Dr. Gluon, because he didn't know what the tiramisu was, used to call it cold cake thing. <laughs> I love that man. So very much. Oh, it's break time. Let me just set this sim up and then I'll go for a break. Lona for sure. Yeah, I've got foodie on. Foodie's already there. We'll get rid of neat. Lona. Lona, Lona, Lona is a social one, which is, um, I think it is anyway. Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. It's right there. That's ironic, really, that it's under the social category, but it's blown out. So we've got foodie. These sims become happy and have fun when eating good food and become uncomfortable when eating bad food and can watch cooking shows for ideas. That's not a bad one. Um, the creative one says that she's going to be more inspired because inspired sims get more um, um, better food. And the chef aspiration obviously makes sense, yes. Um, food chef we're gonna are we gonna go the chef route or the mixology route i feel like we're gonna go chef route right we're gonna try the difficult version the the mixology version is like the easy version because you're not cooking anything you're just making drinks all the time we're gonna go the rough route right <laughs> we're gonna try this the hard way how many times are we gonna kill our sim <laughs> i don't know can i give her a like cooking um thing please um categories activity um likes cooking <laughs> aspiration for chef if it doesn't work you gotta back up yeah 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 that's a good choice we're gonna we've got to go for chef anyway because we're gonna be on the same career path down to level five at least right it's gonna be to level five we're gonna just be in the culinary career and then we get to choose which way we go but i think we should go the hard route let's let's do this difficult way are there any other things we can do? Baking? I'll have her like baking because I know it's a separate skill, but like, you know, it's food related at the very least. Um, I'll have her like mixology as well because I'm pretty sure even in the culinary career, you need to make drinks. Um, they do go hand in hand. Exactly. Exactly. Um, what else can she maybe like? Um, that's kind of it and we'll just like she'll develop other likes and dislikes as we go through but those I think I'm going to give her to start with I very rarely give sims likes and dislikes in cast to be honest very rarely I'm like I just let them develop them in in real time right Roxanne Cherry we're both making chefs at the moment are we really <laughs> yeah I was like I was talking to my mother this morning. I was like, are you going to play Nightmare Legacy today? And she's like, no, I'm going to do the scenario. I was like, I am doing the scenario as well. <laughs> We're going to do the same challenge. And like, and don't tell her, but we're probably going to go raid Momo later as well. <laughs> so let's go play. And Cherry. Cherry, baby. Cherry, baby. <laughs> We're in a singy mood today. Right, there she goes. Oh, thank you, Raven. Yeah, if you don't follow Bruce Momo already, uh, what are you doing with your lives? You better go and fix that right this very instant. Right, I'll get her in. We'll pause the game. I am going to take my break because I need to make sure that my shoulder does not freeze up and seize up anymore. Um, doctor's orders, take regular breaks. Um, let's start in summer. I always start in spring. Let's start in the summer um right let me get where shall we live where's a good place to live if we're gonna be a celebrity chef celebrity chef should we live either in the city or in del sol valley i'm thinking i, I kind of wanted to live in del sol valley you know 
Like LA. It's basically LA, right? The fact that this is eerily similar to you set yours up already. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling like Del Sol. And we can live. It's so expensive in Del Sol Valley, right? There's already a family here. This is an empty lot. Um, the city's good for... F oh, the city's good for food stall. I mean, we can always go to the city anyway. But I, I always live in the city. We've already got Breed and the Weird living in the city. I think I'll have the, her live in Del Sol Valley. But we'll travel backwards and forwards to the city. Um... This isn't one that sets your money to zero, so I think we're going to be able to do that. I want to go live here. Oh, wow, that's expensive. 19,362. We're going to have like 600 simoleons spare. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, there's this house, which we obviously can't afford. It's so expensive. I mean, it's realistic, isn't it? <laughs> it's realistic. She lives in the suburbs of LA and travels to the big city. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, just, I really wish you could live down on this beach. I really do. There she goes. Furnished, obviously. Right, let's go in. I'm excited to try this. <laughs> it's probably going to be utter chaos. And there's going to be fires galore. Oh, dear. You know what? I don't have a counter on screen. But I am going to make a little note. I've got a little, little sticky note here. I'm going to make a note of every fire we have, I think. Um, and then maybe if we don't complete this scenario today and we come back to it at another point, then maybe I'll make an on-screen fire counter. But I will I will make a note of how many fires we have. But before we get into the game for proper, um, I am going to go and take a quick break, stretch my arm out, um, go pee as well. Um, do I have the fire prevention system? Not yet. I don't think this house comes with it. How expensive is that? How expensive is the fire prevention system? going to build because i don't think we can afford it right now because this house is heckin expensive um fire prevention system utility panel yeah. it's 750 and we have 638 that might be the first thing that we buy <laughs> yeah so this came with did it not come with seasons no it's it's base game it's base game so basically this you stick it to the side of your wall. Hi, Seku! And it it's a sprinkler system, basically. Yeah, it's a sprinkler thing. Anywho, back into The Sims. So, here's our Sim. Um, she is... What did we make her? Lona, foodie and creative. She has the chef's um, aspiration. What's it called? A master chef aspiration. Um... Seiji Nakajima. Who's Seiji Nakajima? I recognize that name. Somebody from Snowy Escape, obviously. Is it been weird? It's a stream. Yeah, it's definitely a stream elements thing. It's not like an us thing. It's definitely a them thing. But I hope that they fix it soon. Uh, right, so we need to become a celebrity chef despite the danger or become a celebrity mixologist, which is a safer choice. And we're obviously going to go for the chef. <laughs> obviously. Right, first thing we're going to do... Does she already have... She has money a little bit. Does she already have the job? No. So first thing we're going to do is join the career, obviously. Um, we don't need to make any specific amount of money. We just need to get to level 10 of that career. I'm going to try and use the, the club system as much as we can um, for gaining the skills that we need to advance in that career. So culinary. Here we go. So culinary career. We're going to be hiring up as an assistant dishwasher. Only 15 simoleons an hour. Which is great. And we work, what, Monday to Friday, 9 till 5. That's fine. Um, okie dokie. And what do we need? What skills do we need? Nothing. Just prepare food and mix drinks. Okay, so let's come over here and see what our look is like, shall we? We're going to cook a salad, first of all, because she has zero skill. A single serving of salad. Because, you know. <laughs> oh, Nancy Langrab. Hi. Have you been to Black Spire Outpost number two yet? No. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. You can learn the skill, the um, the recipes from there, can't you? Same as in the city. If you go to Black Spire Outpost and you eat like the popcorn, I think you learn the recipe. Same as with the ones from the food stalls. So maybe, maybe it's not a bad idea. Do we have any skill actually? No, acquired the cooking skills, so we have nothing. We're starting from absolute zero. 
because sometimes when you start these scenarios it gives you like it already places you in the career you need to be in and it already gives you like a, a minimum amount of money or skills this is complete blank slate it just tells you you need to be level 10 in the culinary career no money no skills no oh is that a bachelor idea okay she's a loner so she's happy that she has no social that's fantastic <coughs> and sims look at today more chests you always get the chest Tessa. you always do you're so lucky with the rewards okay so she did not set fire to the salad i'll put that in the fridge let's test out something that requires cooking let's test out a grilled cheese um let's see how that goes this lot by the way when i put the base mental drugs mod in and i was testing out how it worked before we made um made the sims in reading the weird use it this is the house that i had them in <laughs> and i just had all these jars along the side of like buds curing <laughs> just brought back all these memories um i'm making like edibles in this oven all right oh 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 there was no fire she's a level two chef no fire she made grilled cheese okay that's not bad what else can we make i'm testing it i'm testing it let's go um what else can we cook that's usually quite bad franca beans i mean i don't want to like use up all of her money because um she doesn't have very much money um eggs and toast let's make a single serving of eggs and toast and then i'm putting those in the fridge so she can eat them she doesn't need to cook later oh there's the fire <laughs> there we go i knew it was too good to be true i knew it was too good to be true add one on the tally uh. <laughs> hey ninja hi hello yeah we're doing the unlucky chef one yeah and um i was just seeing what we were like we already have a fire alarm there fire one quick quick put the fire out put the fire out put the fire out. call the fire department. what are you doing don't put yourself in no extinguish yourself extinguish yourself okay okay can we can we afford this we can afford this i don't care about that so much but we can afford the oven um are you gonna try and beat james turner's 27 days to complete i mean i can try i'm not right now um i want to play it through without like speed running it necessarily right now just to get a feel for it and then maybe i could maybe we could try and beat the 27 days i've no doubt that bruce momo can that sounds like something that's pretty easy to beat right she's she did do some cooking so she did a garden salad which doesn't need cooking and that was fine we did a grilled cheese which does need cooking and that was also fine um but we did eggs and toast and set fire to the kitchen so <laughs> uh yeah we're gonna burn occasionally but not all the time um let's go and invite the neighbors in which we only have one neighbor and it's vanessa can we be best friends with vanessa also can you like hurry up in the bath you have a neighbor on the front doorstep Roxanne, go, get it, go, go, talk to the neighbor, thank you. Oh no, did she not clean herself properly? Is that because I got her out the bath? Oh dear. Go get back in the bath. Now you've actually greeted your neighbor. She can come in, help herself. Did you not even bring a bloody fruit cake? What kind of welcome wagon are you? Fancy not bringing a fruit cake. <laughs> we could have eaten that and then we wouldn't have had to cook anything. Oh man. Oh, Vanessa, you suck. Well, I, no, I do like Vanessa, though. Ask about career. What do you do? What do you do? Are you an actress, Vanessa? Are you? I think she's an actress, right? She's a celebrity. She's a level one celebrity. Roxanne has learned that Vanessa is a commercial spokesperson at Plumbar Pictures. Yeah, she is an actress. She's a, a commercial actress. Let's... Thank you for coming. I might need to decide just to pay for new stones, right? <laughs> yeah. Roxanne <laughs> Every single time Levi, hi, happy lucky times I also hung the washing up today <laughs> It's so nice outside I was very excited to do it, hanging the washing up Right, we have 476 simoleons When does she go to work? Is it tomorrow? Yeah, 21 hours until she goes to work And we did 75% of um, food created so I'm going to go and have her make another meal, but one that she doesn't need to um, cook. So a salad, just another salad. And we can keep it in the fridge. 
just so that all meals have been done and i think that should do it yeah complete them i don't want to spend all of her money on food that's going to go to waste though that's 150 to go replace that counter <gasps> vanessa do you just go to someone's house and just take the food out of their fridge you what <laughs> sticking your head now yeah her name is Roxanne Cherry, so every single time I say her name, I'm going to be either singing Roxanne or Cherry Baby. Every single time, just so you're aware. Um, I'm probably going to get heckin' DMCA'd. Oh, talking about DMCA, right? You know, yesterday I was playing, um, what's it, Stardew Valley, but I had the music on a Spotify playlist, so we didn't have those quiet moments, but it's the same music, it's fine. Um, Eric Barone, Concerned Ape, has said that they are happy with people using the music in a, the background of their YouTube videos, particularly, obviously, if they're playing the game. But he's fine with it, as long as you're not like a mega corp and you're trying to make money off of the music. If you're just a, a YouTuber or a streamer and you're using the music, it's fine. I uploaded the stream from yesterday. Hey, Unicorn, hi! I uploaded yesterday's stream to YouTube last night. It's stuck in scheduled at the moment. It's releasing today at three o'clock. Um, and it's got a copyright claim on it because of the Stardew Valley theme music. Not all of the music, just the menu music, you know, like the main Stardew music that everyone knows. Um, not the rest of it, just that one track. And I was like, what? What? So, um, but it doesn't say that it's being copyright claimed by Concerned Ape. It's being copyright claimed by another company and I don't know if they're trying to false claim it or if that's who he uses to like make claims for, but he doesn't make claims. He even said that on Twitter yesterday. He doesn't make claims against the music. Like it's not a proper DMCA. Like I've got no, there's no risk of it being taken down. It's just that if I was a, a verified channel on YouTube, which I'm not right now, um, I did, I, I tweeted at him and he didn't answer, so um, I might try emailing him. A false copyright claim on the internet? No! I know, right? Um, both Facebook and TikTok have blocked videos of yours due to music in them, and it's your own music? Damn, guitarist. What? <laughs> so the only issue is if I was able to monetize my videos, which I'm not at current time, I wouldn't be able to monetize that particular video. Um, but it's not like a claim claim it's not, a, it's not a strike i should say it's a claim not a strike is the difference so yeah that's a but hard to promote your own music when they do that yeah twitch muted you because the track on amazon music use the royalty free track as you did in their background but it's a royalty free one <laughs> like what oh it makes no sense make it make sense like i know it's not youtube necessarily and i know it's not twitch necessarily to the dmca laws that are, are not great but um yeah the fact that it wasn't concerned ape that was claiming against me it was some other company and i don't know whether he's affiliated with them or if they were trying to make a false claim right she's uncomfortable because there's a person in her house and she's a loner so the moral of the story is these things don't make sense yeah <laughs> this is very true um can i watch channel watch cooking show for ideas and we'll speed through a little bit on three times speed like i said i'm not trying to speed run this necessarily i just want to see how it goes there she's inspired nice so she, will she learn recipes from watching this you better pass out go to sleep no worries so thank you for hanging out i appreciate you being here um i love you very much see you soon um <laughs> She's uncomfortable because there's someone in her house. A mood, an absolute mood. Many of your friends are composers and they put their music on various platforms and they've had original music claim too. Yeah, it's crazy. It is. I, I think the funniest one was, was it Brendan Urie? Not that Brendan Urie, you know, is an angel by any means. Um, but didn't Brendan Urie get claimed against Panic at the Disco music once? Like his own band <laughs> like his own record company claimed him for playing his own music on that stream which i know is kind of fair because like artists as we've discovered through the whole taylor swift debacle artists don't always own the rights to their own music usually it is owned by the record company but i just thought that was funny 
Right, she... Are you gonna make something? Are you cooking something? Oh no, she's eating it, that's okay. Got blocked because you are playing along with your own track and it blocked it. It's so mad that like, that's your own music. Who's claiming against it? Who's... What is that picking up against? Because normally when things get caught, it's because there's an algorithm put in place, but that's not music that belongs to anyone else. It's yours, it's so weird. I mean, why does that pop down again? Get rid of that. Right, she is still a little bit tense from the fire, but she should be okay. Can I make... Mm, I want to... I want to be able to make lots of food, but obviously we don't have a lot of money at the moment. I wanted to make a ton of food and I wanted to make a ton of drinks because I'm pretty sure you need mixology skill even if you go into the, the chef branch. Most artists are okay with playing their songs. It's a record label. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think it's if you're making money off of it, they're like, no, we should be making money off of it. You don't make money off of it. Um, your partner's band a few years ago had another brass band take their name and use their music and have to go through a whole process. Really? Oh my gosh. Right, have a sleepy buys. What time does she go to work tomorrow? It's nine, right? Nine till five. Yeah. We're good. We're good. You won't claim it. Sometimes you mod. Um, so when you mod for uses your tracks without the vocals on. Oh, that's cool though. That's nice. You think you need gourmet as well? Cool. You can't get gourmet until you get level five normal cooking though. Am I correct in that? I feel like that's a thing. Like I can't just have her go and make um garlic noodles now i feel like she needs to be level five yeah and what are we know level three right now so let me go leftovers because she's gonna just keep burning things otherwise yeah i think we're gonna be eating a ton of salad salad fruit salad what else actually what can we make let me look what can we make oh so go my drinks <gasps> why are they not go my drinks heck that would be so good so none of these are gourmet obviously um milk bread requires cooking grilled cheese cooking hamburger cake fruit salad we could make um onigiri is that can you make this without cooking because it's just rice isn't it it's just rice and, and raw fish um salad you should be able to make without cooking um, <laughs> um i think that's all we can do everything else chips and salsa we should be able to do without cooking um <laughs> i think everything else requires an oven watermelon salad yes we can make watermelon salad that's six simoleons a pop um is this does this require cooking i think that requires cooking a lot of the new ones i'm not sure of um like the new asian food that we got given and some of the new um i think all of the the latin american stuff does require cooking like the meat things but i don't know about the the new asian food that we got given whether any of that is cooking free or not right um i want to speed you through maybe this would be good if you were a vampire if you were going to try and speed run it like i said i'm not officially speed running it but if you were then probably a vampire would be good because you could speed through when you weren't cooking Oh, and you know what would be, you know what would be good? I mean, it would be absolute chaos. But if you had a pregnant sim, pregnant sims can't die in fires, so it wouldn't matter how many times you set the kitchen on fire, <laughs> you would never die. Right, she starts working an hour, and she's watching. I love that because she's a foodie, she autonomously watches the cooking channel. So she's just sitting here building cooking channel and gaining inspiration and mood, and I didn't even make her do that that's fantastic right there we go off to work first day at work how much is she making what did she say she's making 15 simoleons an hour for eight hours i can't do maths please don't ask me to do maths a few hundred like a hundred and a bit introvert yeah 120 okay so she's working on 120 simoleons a day she still can't afford the fire prevention system but we do have a smoke alarm in place which is not a, a bad problem so um we don't even need to build a skill yet um prepare food and mix drinks again Eww. could you make it a tiny lot as well we could make it a tiny lot we could like shrink it down should we do that should I do that? Should we just shrink this house down a bit? Because there's a lot of empty space in the middle. We don't need all of this. 
We definitely don't need this. Okay, so if I go up here, residential, tiny home residential, it's currently more than the 100 tiles, as we are obviously aware. So can I bring this in here? And can... Um... Okay, but what's happening because this is not the Lou family? Yeah, I'm just doing it without... Um, without messing up the breeding the weird family because we've also i'm also doing the looking at the new update thing where members of the um the neighborhood can start like dropping dead and marrying people not marrying people but like having babies and stuff and i want to see how that impacts in the world so far we haven't had anything happen and i didn't want it to fuck up the um the save file that we're working on so this is a brand new save file just to test out the scenario and to test out the um the um, the new save the new update words i can do words it's fine don't worry about it can i sell this i can get rid of that i don't need all of these counters we don't need them all we can have you here we can get rid of you here i only need one counter we can get rid of that as well sell that we can bring this in we can bring this in it's still more than 100 but like you know i've got some more messing around to do we can get rid of that sell that we can bring this in we don't yeah put the lounge in the kitchen where and then put the bedroom and bathroom where the lounge was yeah i can work i promise yeah <laughs> just me every day put this here put this here <laughs> you just gotta walk around that get rid put the put the bed over here she doesn't need a separate bedroom it's fine get rid of the desk get rid of the window um put a door uh i should put the whole bathroom can i like move the bathroom over here <laughs> like that get rid of the porch tiles yeah we don't need the porch get rid of this room um, we're on 76 tiles. Get rid of that. I need a front door now. We can, like, scooch this whole thing across. We don't need any of that. We can move these in. Like this. We can get rid of all of this room here. Fantastic. <laughs> My bed went ye. It did. I need to put a new bed in. But we don't need this huge table. I don't know. No, I want to keep the chair. Keep, look, keep the keep the chair. Keep the chair. Keep the chair. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Keep the chair. Get rid of the table. Put a small table in. Do we need a table? Do we need a table? Like really? I'll put a table in. Just a small one. Um, dining table. Just a dinky one, like that one. The poolside table. <laughs> Why can't you put it there? Why can't we put it there? There we go. Um, if you lived alone, you would eat it on the sofa. To be fair, I would probably too as well. I'll put this over here so it's not in the way of the door. But this leaves us even more room. We can put the bed like here. I can give her a single bed. We don't need a double bed. Uh, let's give her a nice bed though. There we go. In fact, I mm, yeah, we've got six grand. Can I bring this in like one more tile and bring the bathroom in? One more tile. Do we need all of this shit though? Probably don't even need all this shit, right? Um, bring that like that. Put that door there so we can get into the bathroom. That's better. That's 43 out of 64 tiles. So what tier are we at right now? Um, we're at tier two tiny home. So we get the skills increase at double the standard rate. We've got the cozy comfort so everything's twice as comfortable. We've got um lightening the load so it uses less energy and we're feeling happier so it's not a micro home so we're not getting the skills we're not getting the um the gardening boost but we are getting the skills boost which is good right and we've got a kitchen we've got somewhere to get fun and watch the tv to get the cooking channel we've got somewhere to eat we've got somewhere to sleep we've got a bathroom a shower i mean a bath a toilet and a sink right nice and we just need a front door we just need a front door, so let me just um, pop that over here. Oh, oh, oh. We're on a platform. <laughs> can they get in there? She can't get in there, can she? Let's put the whole thing down. We don't need to be on a platform. 
Is it this one? Yoink. Yoink. No, 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 that's, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. It's that one, that one, there we go, there we go. I know how to build. <laughs> I can build, I'm good. Anything else? It's like, can I get rid of these walls maybe? I know that they don't count towards stuff, but we can sell them for money. <laughs> and all this, like, look at these random things here. It's like, just sell that. Get some money now. We can actually, we've got seven grand nearly. Now we can afford the fire prevention system. I'm going to get that. Fire prevention system. That's this one right here. And I'm going to put it. Is it on the outside or can you put it on the inside? I'm going to put it by the front. I'm going to put it by the kitchen. I'm going to put it here. Right by the oven. She probably can't cook there. There. Put it there. I think you can put it on the outside and it's okay. I think it still works on the indoors if you put it on the outdoors. But I don't trust it not to. So I'm going to put it on the indoors for now. And we'll see how it works. Um, That's good. That's good. Yeah. Good tip, by the way. I hadn't thought about making it um, a tiny home. Well, I'm... It is a tiny home, isn't it? It's got a small home, tiny home, micro home. So we're in a tiny home, technically. Right, can we come and cook? Um, let's do a watermelon salad, wherever that was. Watermelon, where did it go? Where did it go? There it is, watermelon salad, because I know for a fact that that's not going to need like cooking skill, right? Like heat, I mean. So we shouldn't make a fire for making watermelon salad, technically. And she's fine. She should be in a happy mood. Oh, I don't have the bus the dust turned off. I've just realized as well. So we're probably going to need to get um, a vacuum. We can afford a robot vacuum, actually. I'm going to get that so I haven't got to piss about with it. Robot vacuum. Um, there, there it is. We can afford the nice high quality one as well. Where is it? That's the, the Where's the high end one? There it is. High end robot vacuum. I can afford it there we go just so she hasn't got to mess around with vacuuming in a small home because i've done that before um when we were playing breed in the weird before and when we lived in the on the house that was the farm um the house itself was a tiny home so it was just too cramped to get the vacuum out right let me do the settings auto clean on and then we'll do settings clean every 12 hours i'll say because she's living by herself but it's fine she can do it every 12 hours <gasps> is there no light in here <laughs> i need to move the lights there's no light in the bathroom <laughs> there's no light in the bathroom in fact did i get rid of all the lights no there's yeah we've got two lights now it's fine <laughs> there was two lights in the living room and no lights in the bathroom at all Right, now, do I need to make some more food? I do. Who needs lights? You can piss in the dark. You're all right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, we need to make some more food and more drinks. I know that if I get the bar, if I buy her a bar, I can have her make water and that doesn't cost any money. Or I can have her make food. She's going to need mixology skill anyway. I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy her a bar. And just have her make water because then that will be free um and she's going to be gaining mixology skill which she won't need for obviously going into the mixology career but she will need for going up the ranks i believe which bar shall i get her? a nice fancy one a carved bar Ooh, you know what i never use this bar this is the jungle adventure bar i never use it i can go outside she can make drinks of water in the garden go make a drink make a drink just plain water and it's free there we go so does it, if it goes to waste it's not wasted money and it counts that's 75 percent done make another drink make another drink make some water there you go and then that's also gaining her mixology skill i think <laughs> it doesn't seem to pop up above her head but still that's done she's done she only needs to get to work tomorrow and she should get her first promotion Hopefully, fingers crossed. Is she already watching the cooking channel? Yes. I feel like you've made it if you've got a backyard garden bar. Exactly. If you've got a backyard garden bar, you're doing well. Oh, okay. It's good to hear your voice, Roxanne. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Mark Eggleston a little better as a friend. They seem like good company. 
Um, Mark Eggleston, I think he's the guy with the dreads that came with Strangerville. I think he is. That he lives in the eclectic arts household. Uh, I think, yeah, just go, go for it. Go for it. He seems like a nice fella. I've never met him before, though, so he could be an absolute dick. I don't know. Cooking level four already. We can make spaghetti and strawberry cake, which sounds to me like a recipe for a burnt down kitchen. Uh, right. Actually, you know what? <laughs> she sleeps in the living room. It's fine. It's like a proper bed sit in it. If I get her a better oven and a better um, fridge, she should make better quality food, which under normal circumstances might cut down on the chances of her having a fire. But in this scenario, I don't think it's going to make a difference. Hello there, Vlad. Fuck off, Vlad. You're not gonna come and bite my neck, although he probably will, won't he? He probably will. Go and piss off, Vlad. Don't even dare. Where is he? He's not here. Good. Good. We've got 124 dudes on the battlefield and there's four minutes left. Hello? Thank you. <laughs> if you're placing dudes down and you're lurking away, um, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. I go have a bath. She also needs a piss. Go piss girl. Oh, also, um, I had to take out the slice of life mod. I still have wonderful whims and woohoo wellness in, but I had to take out slice of life because with the new patch, it's been marked as broken. I don't know how it's broken. I haven't tested it to see. I'm just going off of the, the forum that I go on that tells you which mods are broken. And um, it's listed there. It hasn't been updated yet. So that is why. Um, I want to try the dango. I don't know whether dango needs cooking or not. You don't miss it. You know, parts of Slice of Life I love. Parts of it can be um, very distracting. And and that's on me, really, because you can take out the bits. Oh, she did need to cook that. That's a good point. Dango is cooked on the stove. Um, parts of it are good. You can take out the bits that you don't like. Like I took out the illness section. So you can mix and match it, but sometimes it's just like, I'm gonna take the whole thing out, you know? <laughs> just take the whole thing out, it's all good. But she likes cooking, she's happy as a bean. It's nearly time to go to work. And what can I do to get her a promotion at work? What's a good way to get her more promotions? I mean, she already has a job, so the connections one I don't think will work. You know the, the rewards traits? There's the one that's called Connections, which is much further down. It's like four, 3,000? Yeah, this one here. Sims with Connections start all careers several levels ahead. So I feel like if you're really going to try and speed run this, if you try and get the points and get the Connections reward first, when you start it, um, you'll start at like level three or four. So you won't have to grind for the first few levels. But we've already started the career, so I don't think it'll work for us. Are there other ones that help you get promotions afterwards though? Entrepreneurial. We can get this one. Entrepreneurial, more likely to get promoted. That's 2,000 points. So if we work towards trying to get some points. Um, the stoves, grill one. I'm not sure how much it costs. Let me have a look. The grill master. Where was that one? Where's grill master? I know the one you mean. Stoves and grill master. Stoves and grill masters have a chance to create impeccable quality consumables that use stoves and grills. That's 1,500. So if we try and get three and a half thousand points somehow, <laughs> then um, we should be okay. In fact, I, I might be able to like blag some points. We're currently on what? We're currently on 260. Let's see if we can blag some points. Um, This one won't give us any this one won't this one won't um deviant i think family should because we've become an adult oh and it didn't give us the extra ones damn it there is one that makes you fireproof there is there is i should know that because it's in the elemental legacy and i had to get it <laughs> i should know that one already there we've got an extra 25 there for being a maximus allergist Oh, oh, oh. Can I, she's going to work. If I kind of try and do the Maximus allergy, Mixologist um, aspiration as well, like having her mix the drinks, own two bar stools, that's piss easy. I'll just put some bar stools on this bar. You know, just two bar stools, easy. Um, are they under this chair here? Yes. 
Uh, we'll do this one. That's from the uh, industrial kit. There we go. They go in a gold. They go kind of well with the jungle adventure bar, actually, saying that. I mean, the, the wood texture doesn't match, but <laughs> when do they? When do they match? Let's be honest. Um, you have a battle question because apparently you haven't figured it out. Anyone know which units count as assists by buffing? I would say any of the healing ones. I don't know for sure, Ninja. I, like I said earlier, I've been playing as a captain for bloody like two and a half years and I still don't know how it works properly. But I think it's like you, you give people a boost and in monks yeah like monks will give you a boost i think that's how it works but i don't know you don't need the stools if no one's gonna sit down i need them for the aspiration that's the only reason i got them um for the aspiration i get extra points for that um we probably we're not gonna get anyone to sit down but still it'll come. fantastic let's go and try not to burn our sim no matter what Catherine says we're gonna try not to burn our sim thank you very much can i make her work hard yeah, she's not working hard. How dare? How very dare she not work hard? Get that promotion, girl. Get that promotion. Yeah, there she is. She's got that tick. She's going to come home a level two chef. So, culinary, she's an assistant dishwasher now. So, she'll be like head dishwasher or some shit. Let's see. Got a speedy speed. She's on till five, which is now promotion. Yay! Um, she has been promoted to head dishwasher. She makes an additional one simoleon an hour. Wow. Wow. That raise. Fantastic. Feels like real life. Um, for a grand total of 16 simoleons an hour. She receives a bonus of 334 and a corporate chic countertop. Oh, we could do that. We could put some counters in. We could exchange the ones that she's got for the new ones she's got. Sell the old ones. Or we could just sell the new ones that she's got. Um, for money. Let's have a mooch and have a look. Oh, 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 the bed. Sell the bed. We don't need the bed. Sell that chair. We don't need the chair. Um, sell the lighting. We don't need the lighting. Sell the mirror. We don't need the mirror. Sell that. Right, they've given us three counters. They're worth... They're worth 205 each? I'm going to sell them. We need the money at this point. She's raking it in. Absolutely. You know what we could do? Uh, for the mixologist aspiration, I'm going to have her quickly make 10 drinks. Just, like, make a drink of water. Just cue that up a little bit. Chocolate bunny early. <gasps> but he hasn't eaten it. Oh, You know what? You know when your kids have chocolate in the house and they're not eating it? Or any kind of sweets of any kind? And you're like... Are you going to eat those? Uh, they've been there for, like, a week. Um... If you're not going to eat them, uh, I'll I'll do that so they don't go to waste. <laughs> you know, I hate it. I hate it. I'm so such a sweet tooth as well. I've got a terrible sweet tooth. So if there's sweets in the house, I shall be eating them. And my kids are terrible at not finishing things. Like my son, I I don't think you get them in in the states, Ninja, but. Um, if you're in the UK, you know what I say when I say starbursts, right? <gasps> Super Starless, what? Super Starless is back. 22 months, creeping up on that two-year mark yeah. that has flown by. Here's to many more. Less Aww. than three, you and chat. Question mark, question mark, you too. That really has flown by. I can't believe it's been nearly two years, Super Starless. What the heck? Thank you so much for that tier one sub. Thank you for choosing to support me in that way. That means so, so much. Thank you. You have different flavors and the colors are different, I think. Yeah, so our Starburst, we have um, a red one, which is strawberry, orange one, which is orange, um, purple, which is blackcurrant, and uh, green, which is lemon lime. And um, he only likes the purple ones. <laughs> like, he'll eat the others, but he only likes the purple ones. So my mom buys him those big share bags rather than the little tubes. You know, the one, the big bags that you get in, like, a cinema. She buys him one of them every week. He, like, eats all the purple ones out. Maybe the occasional strawberry one. And then he, like, leaves the rest in the kitchen. And I'm like, son, are you going to eat those? <laughs> So, sunshine, sunshine of my life, are you gonna eat those? 
<laughs> so I end up eating the rest of them <laughs> most of the time. You have pink, red cherry, yellow lemon, and orange is orange. Oh, do you not have a grape one? Because I know that like blackcurrant flavored stuff is super duper rare in the States, right? Because blackcurrants are pretty much illegal. Um, and so your purple stuff is grape. You don't have a purple one? We used to, many, many moons ago, when they were still called opal fruits, we had red was strawberry, orange was orange, yellow was lemon, and green was lime. But now, because I've added purple in, green is lemon and lime together. Right, we need to get to level four mixology skill to get the next few points. Um, or what can we do for the Master Chef one? Anything in here? Make two meals whilst inspired. I'll do that one. Purple flavor is ick. I like purple flavor. You know, I think it's maybe because we grew up not having grape flavor in the UK. That when I ever have grape flavored stuff, it reminds me of being on holiday in the States. So it's got kind of like a, a weird, not nostalgia, because it's not from being a child, but like a, a, a memory of holiday for me. So I really like like purple grape flavor. <laughs> like give me some Welsh's purple grape juice or some purple Fanta. Love it, love it. It's so weird. I'm gonna try making some onigiri and see if that needs a stove. I guess it does because you need to cook the rice, right? It's not raw rice. You're not making sushi with raw rice. Raw yeah. fish maybe, but like it's the rice needs cooking. I don't know if it's gonna like make it like this though. It's gonna say, oh, it's already prepared. Like a salad, yeah. Looks like onigiri is gonna be one that she can make without burning the house down. I think. Yes. Yes. So Dango needs cooking, but um, but onigiri is fine. You know, it was you had aero bubbles. <gasps> Aero bubbles, pepper, the mint, the peppermint ones. Mint aero is chef's kiss anyway, but the aero bubbles peppermint is gorgeous. Yes, you do. You do have jelly beans now. You've got a purple one. So the, um, the two years one, when you get to two years, I can't remember what color that one is. What color is the two years one? Uh... Has anybody got it in chat? I don't know if anyone's got it in chat. Has Catherine got it? Catherine's is 14 months. Tezza? No, I don't think anyone's got it in chat, but I think... I think it's blue. I don't know. I don't know. You had Aero Bubbles Mint yesterday. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're so nice. Right, while she's still inspired, I'm going to have her make another meal cook and let's see what else we can make without burning the house down i think rice cake is cooking but i'll test it out i will test rice cake out um you stuck up every time you visit do you have because i know in the uk we have sometimes a shop will sell american imported sweets but we also have a few websites where you can buy stuff from like for instance i get um imported candies and things from candymail.co.uk usually um they do like American stuff, Japanese stuff, Australian stuff. It's a really nice like mix. Do you guys have anything like that in the States? Like a, a website where you can buy imported UK sweets from or European sweets from? Because that would be so good you could buy arrows. Like, I mean, obviously it would cost more, but I, that would be really good if you could. I am delighted you recommended I spend some time with Mark Eggleston. I was amused the entire time. <laughs> Blink twice if you need help, Vanessa. That doesn't sound natural at all. Um, there's a shop that sometimes has imported sweets. We haven't looked online. Have a look online. I never thought about that before. Like I said, I know that we do in the UK. We have various different websites you can go to to get imported sweets. Um. Oh shit! A fire. <laughs> I can see it in the corner. Oh no. <laughs> I gotta tip it alien night at the bar. I don't wanna go out. If we go out, will the fire cancel itself out? Or will it still be there when we get back and just burn the whole house down? I wanna go. I wanna go. <laughs> I wanna go and see if the fire cancels itself out. It doesn't. Oh no. <laughs> will it burn the entire house down while I'm gone? Or will it just pause itself in suspended animation? <laughs> 
I hope it pauses itself. Although, to be fair, we have the fire prevention system now, so it should bring on the sprinklers. She hopes. <laughs> she hopes. Oh my god. Can you imagine? It's gone. I'm going out to the Ipanyaki. I'm gonna just uh, I'll come back to fire. It's fine. Oh god. Oh god. It's alien night. Yay. Hey, alien night. Oh, hello. Who are you? Kedo Um, Shigeru Nishidake. Uh, Mirai Sasaki. No one's here. Oh, no, no, no. Please be careful. Please be careful with the vending machine. Please be careful with the vending machine. Oh, no, she managed to get something safe. <gasps> Good. Good. That scared me. An alien. Koichi. What's his name? Koichi Yamada. Are all of these people aliens? Just some of them are in disguise. I mean, I know that he's not. I know that he's not. I would like you to maybe go home. I know that you've come out with your friend and stuff, but I, I want to go home and I want to check on that fire. <laughs> I want to see. I want to hope that it's not burning my house down. Because we can't learn anything here anyway. There's no food. Oh, there's a, is there a food cart there? Hmm. Check if you're on fire. Kyla thought her sim left a lot and died. <gasps> no, she's not on fire. She's good. Can I go to here? And can I order a food from here? Haggle first. If I haggle here, then maybe she can learn a new recipe. You know? Like the same as the other ones. Look at all the nigiri and the dango and stuff. Um, yes, she likes S pop. It's great. It's fantastic. Come over here and haggle, please. Oh, she's left? Rude. What's your name? Tachiko Nishidake. Rude. I was kind of come and haggle with you and buy some food. Oh. Okay. Home it is then. Home it is. Someone's stinking. Was it us? It might be us. I think maybe she was on fire, but she's stinking now because she, you know, <laughs> she was on fire. Let me, um, let me go home and hope my kitchen hasn't burned down. Fingers crossed, everybody. Uh, seems to not be on fire. Hey, <laughs> what a hack. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so the the rice cake requires cooking. Um, okay, that's good to know. Frank and beans obviously requires cooking. Does this require cooking? Japche. It's a sweet potato starch noodle stir fried with vegetables. So yes, that requires cooking. Um, pandan muerto I feel does as well. Vegetable dumplings I think does. Mac and cheese definitely does. Um, pedo queijo. Cheese buns I feel like they're going to require cooking. Um, all of these do. The meat protein platter, though. The faux meat protein platter. Is that not just cold cuts? That might be just cold cuts. That might be okay. We'll, we'll just check. She might be able to slice the cold cuts up, or is she going to have to cook it? I don't know. Break time again? God, that's flying by. Right, we've got 42 dudes on the battlefield. Anybody wants to place any more units down? Exclamation battle. We'll get that link back up for you in chat if you've missed it. Oh, no. No, it is cooking. It is cooking. It needs to stir fry the meat first. Oh, no. Fire again. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Root to safety. Root to safety. Extinguish self. Extinguish self. Oh, no. Oh, no. How many is that? I'm going to miss one. So that's now we're on three fires, right? That was three fires we were on. Oh, man. Uh, replace the oven. Go take a bath. Oh, no. She's so tense now. She's not going to make nice food. We're going to just have to make <laughs> some salad, I think. She's not in an inspired mood right now, though, so I'm not going to bother right now. Because the aspiration requires you to be in an inspired mood. But it is like one in the morning. Let's go to sleep. Wait. 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 Why is my house like this? Why is my house like this? This is not the house that we left. It's replaced my house back to the normal house again. When did that happen? 
I've just noticed that. <laughs> this is not the house. I changed it. We made it into a tiny home. Lex, hi. We made it into a tiny home. Um. <laughs> And we still have all the money that we got from selling the stuff. We still have five and a half grand. Um, <laughs> glitch. Um, maybe when I think it must have happened when we left during the fire. Oh wow. Anyway, um, my break timer went off. Your engineer sim is up duty to death. Don't make them continue to fix things whilst they're in that dazed state, Lex. If they get shocked, they go dazed for a few hours. Don't make them touch anything electrical whilst they're in that state. Then they will die if they get electrocuted a second time. If they get electrocuted once, it's like the cow plant. Like you can get electrocuted once and you're usually fine, unless you're already in a shitty mood. Um, they're usually fine once, then just leave it to go. Right, I'm going to take a very quick break just to stretch my arm and stretch my legs and stuff and bits and things. Um, and then when I come back, we'll put the house back to how it was. Because um, this is not how I wanted it to be. It's meant to be a tiny home. Thank you very much. Um, I'll see you in... No, I'm back. Hello. So, <laughs> we need to fix this house, right? I can't believe it. Reset the house. Oh my gosh. But we managed to keep the money as well, so... That's a, that's a little bit of a hack there. Right, quickly, build mode. Let's have a mooch, shall we? And see, what did I do? What happened? It's a tiny home res residential. It's still marked there as tiny home residential. That's still a thing. <sighs> right, so we got rid of the porch. Um, we got rid of this porchy thing here. We, um, I got rid of this and this and this and this. And we put this here. Further in, we got rid of this. We moved this in and this in to like here. We moved it all the way in, right? It was teeny tiny. Got rid of that chair, that table. Um, want to see a cute? Yes, obviously. Um, we'll get rid of that. Um, we'll put a. Where am I doing? Where am I doing? Where am I doing? What am I doing? Chairs, there we go. Chairs, tables, surfaces, dining table. What did I give her? The pool one. <laughs> I gave her the pool one. You got a phone call and came back apparently in time. What happened to the house? So, you know when we left the lot to go to that alien night? We came back and the house had reset. It's back to being what it was before. Even though we made it a tiny home. Strangely. So, we can get rid of this. Get rid of this, get rid of this. The aliens did it. Aliens absolutely did that. Um, we can put this here, put this here. We put um, the bathroom. I picked it up and put the bathroom like here. Um, got rid of this room completely. Got rid of this room completely. And then put a single bed like here. Um, where's the beds gone? Um, comfort, beds, it was this bed, just whacked it down there and can get rid of that as well I suppose. We can probably make the bathroom a tiny bit smaller, hang on, move the toilet to like there, move the bath to there and then make the bathroom smaller as well, just cut off another couple of tiles. Um, can I put that like there, um, put the bath. In fact, we can get rid of the bath. We can get a shower, can't we? Um, in one more tile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I put a, a shower in there rather than a bath, it's not like she's going to get a dog or kids or anything, is it? So she doesn't need that to to bath it. Come over here. Put a shower in. Plumbing. Um, showers. Uh, we'll go with... We'll go with... We'll go with a fancy-ish one. Fancy-ish. Why? Oh, there's a light there. Hold on, hold on. Let me fix it. Light there. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. That's the bathroom. I'm good. I want to get rid of that as well. We don't need that. 
um we got a sink a toilet a shower we got a bed we got a tv we got a um sofa we got a fridge we got a sink we got an oven we got somewhere to sit we just need a front door because the front door disappeared and then i need to like lower it down in fact can i make this a little bit narrow right now i can't the bar yeah it's taken away my bar as well heck i can't maybe just took everything away from me all these walls move these um i need to lower the whole house down again back to being on the floor um this wall needs to be disappeared my bar um bars what's because it's a tiny home does it have to be small and width and height it's how many tiles it covers so you can see this thing up here when you select tiny home in the lot type it'll tell you how many tiles you've got for it to be a small home it needs to be less than 100 tiles for it to be a tiny home it needs to be less than 64 tiles and for it to be a micro home it needs to be less than that and i can't remember how much it needs to be for tiny but it's like 30 tiles or something it's much smaller and you get all those extra bonuses um right we needed a bar which bar did i get it was the carved bar from jungle adventure and then i got some bar stools on there as well is it 32 i think it's 32 32 rings the bell and i got those two bar stools there we go there we are now we're at 10 1800 because there's a glitch in the game there we go oh yes in the vacuum thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you which means i need to move this door in slightly because the vacuum is in that corner um high end robot vacuum high end robot why is it not there why are you not showing that is it high end one word no oh come on you know when you search for something by the actual name that it is and it's like no this doesn't exist what are you talking about you know guess it bloody does there it is is it a hyphen maybe it's a hyphen something is in the household inventory i'll have a look i'll have a mooch we'll get itchy ear again so as long as it covers that amount of tiles you can build as high as you want um well it would count on floors as well so if you've got a household floor that's 20 tiles on the ground floor and then you build upstairs that's also 20 tiles so it would be 40 tiles so it wouldn't be a, a micro home anymore but it would still be a tiny home and bear in mind that like outdoor areas can sometimes count as well so you need to be careful about placing um decking and things just make sure it doesn't count as a tile it counts it here for you so you can see if you place something and like it becomes a room it'll count it happy hi how are we doing um show all what's in there oh it was a light yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's fine that's fine happy we've just discovered a bit of a glitch so I shrunk this house in, in Del Sol Valley down to a tiny home. And then we left the lot and came back and it was back to its normal size again. So that's fun. Um, I don't know what that was all about. But hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. One thing we forgot. One thing we forgot. One thing we forgot. Excuse me. Need to forget the fire prevention system. Fire. Pre yeah, a glitch in The Sims 4. <laughs> nah, surely not surely not don't don't come here with those lies right there we go put that there again now we should be back to what we were when we left the house so anybody who's joining by the way hello um i'm jenny bean we play a lot of sims here we play a lot of other simulation type games like stardew valley whatever um we're currently looking at the new update sims and um, the new update that came with the sims this week so hopefully we'll start getting some notifications through soon of families in the neighborhood having um having had babies or adopted cats and dogs moved houses swapped jobs that kind of thing possibly died um and also whilst we're waiting for that to happen we're running the new unlucky chef scenario and we've currently had how many fires is it three or four yeah that's what we've had to just do so i mean i didn't have to rebuild the thing it was just a matter of shrinking it like taking the rooms and making it smaller 
Um, click the post box to find out that information. Oh, do you really? Does it not pop up in um, a notification? Ooh, check neighborhood action plans. That, ah, check recent neighborhood stories. <gasps> Ooh, it does tell you there. Oh, I thought it came up like, you know, Harry and MC Command Center. It comes up in the corner and tells you like once a week. That's interesting. Wait, 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 wait. What did it say? Windenburg at the Bjergsen household. Clara and Bjorn are preparing for their baby to be born. <laughs> the Bjergsens are having a new baby. Oh, I love that. Also, yes, yeah, she's managed to complete that milestone. Fantastic. Getting some more points because I would like to get some um, reward traits. Each click gives you more info. Oh, so you have to click it multiple times. The fuck? Evergreen Harbour, the Harris household has moved out. <gasps> the Harrises don't live in that house anymore. Delta Valley, Octavia and Thorne are expecting a baby. Ah! I wish she would just tell you everything that was going on. This is like having to click it every single time is kind of annoying. Derek McMillan in the Moody and McMillan household have started a job as a freelancer in the freelance career. <gasps> oh, wow. Maybe they'll fix that with the next update. The Free Spirits household recently adopted a toddler. Oh my god. The Mahi Ai household has moved into Oasis Springs. Neilani's moved to the desert. She used to live on a tropical island and now she lives in the desert. I'm sorry, I'm just going to be looking at these the whole time. Jacques Villarreal is in, retired from the boss career. Um, the Noriega household has moved into Brightchester. The Delgados recently adopted a dog. I love that for them. They live in Brindleton Bay as well. The Keoloa household, um, Liliana and Makoa are having a baby. <sighs> you were thinking that was, yeah, I'm asking for details at the time. Yeah, if I click on it and go check the recent stories, it comes up. Jess and Dylan are having a baby as well. Everyone's having babies, oh my God. Nothing of note has happened recently. Okay, so that's everything that's happened over the past, what, three days in game because it's now Wednesday evening and like we start on a Sunday, right? They do love dogs. They do. I kind of wish it popped up without having to keep asking, but I get that they're still fine tuning it, right? Right, she needs to go pee and she needs a shower because she was involved in a fire. How many fires have we had now? Was it just three? Did we have four? I think it was still just three. It might be four. I think it's four. I'll put four. If I've overcounted by one, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> again, right, Tessa? Again with the chest. Right, she's gonna pop into that shower and get rid of all this soot and dust from having a fire. What do we need to do next for the aspirations? Um, what was up with the new pack? It is broken as shit, superstarters. You cannot do any of the things that you need to do in it it's so broken honestly sitting here and trying to explain to you how it's broken would take so long <laughs> it'd be easier for me to say go to youtube and watch plumbella's most recent videos about that pack and you'll see she did one where she played the pack until it broke and then quit the game the video is one minute 30 long i'm not kidding not kidding 12 assists but non counted for buffing. Oh no! Oh no, Ninja! <laughs> One minute 30 long. Mm. So basically, it looked like from somebody, I think it was Carl. Carl Sims Guide made a mod to fix it, which is fantastic, but I refuse to get the mod because we shouldn't rely on modders to fix things that are broken in code. Especially as people who work on consoles can't get those mods to fix it. So I refuse to get it. Um, she needs to make a gourmet meal. We can make a gourmet meal now, can't we? Yeah, make um, ceviche. There we go. Yes, mod should enhance, not fix. Exactly. That is precisely my thoughts. Um, so, oh, talking of Morty. Hello, Mortimer. I've already been asked about Black Spire Outpost. Thank you very much. Why are they asking me again? Did my whole game reset? What happened? What has happened to this game? <laughs> what the heck? Anyway, she has gourmet skill now. Um, what was I gonna say? What was I saying? What was I saying? Okay, you couldn't um, do any of the stuff. It was as if somebody had forgotten to do code. That's what Carl said. 
there's a big significant chunk of code missing and not only did it impact on the new fancy weddings that are in the pack but it impacted on base game weddings as well and i haven't got it because i didn't want it to break my my game I work hard there we go we've got 1310 aspiration points now so we are working towards getting those things hey vanessa i think mark eggleston is pretty cute should i ask him out <gasps> she called us a little bit ago asking us if she should be friends with him and they had a really good time hanging out together and now they want to go well she wants to go out <gasps> this is what i'm talking about yes go for it this is the shit that i want like that's progressed from a friendship to a romance and then imagine if they move in together and get married and then there's the whole new thing and they have a baby ah! <laughs> And this is just in The Sims as well. This isn't even to do with MC Command Center. You haven't got it either, and the collectionist in you is sad, but you won't buy a broken game. Precisely. I... The collectionist in me is not going so mad recently. Um, I have not got the menswear kit either. Uh, right, what do we need to do for our job? Let me just quickly check. I need to prepare some food or drinks, and we need to earn silver at a dinner party. If I switch to the mixology one... We need to earn level four mixology skills. So let's just make some drinks. Um, we'll make some ones that we need to pay for. You're behind on kits. I, I've got all the kits apart from the menswear one. I'll be honest, I have been getting them. Um, she's got the mixology skill. Let's make some... Um, sweet and spicy. And I, I do... I do like them. I'm going to get the new one because it's cool. It, oh my god, did you see how fast that skill went up there then? Just besides the point. Um, make drink. Um, a Von Horn Estate Meloir. Meloir? Um, should we only have level one mixology skill? We need to get some more mixology at this point. I don't know how much you need for the culinary part of the career. What's her favorite drink? Oh, we should find out. We should find out. Get out of bed. Make drink. Make a favorite drink. Watch it be water. <laughs> Watch it be water. What you make? Oh, no, it's fancy. What is it? Root beer? Is that a root beer float? That looks like a root beer float, right? <gasps> nice. Good choice. Hi. Yeah, a root beer float. <laughs> nice. That's cool. You can put these in the fridge so they don't go bad. Just, you know, that's money wasted otherwise. I've seen it before where some people's favorite drink is water. And I'm like, you can have all the drinks in the world. All of them. Some flavor in your life. You ever had root beer in years? I don't think that I've ever had root beer. I'll be honest. But I have had a Coca-Cola float. Hydration. Hydration is fun. But also, like, your favorite drink? Really? Like, obviously... Water's good for you, but to be your favorite drink? You can be hydrated by drinking literally anything. Coke floats are awesome. Yes. They truly are. Um, Let's see. What, what can I make that's not going to burn my house down? I think all of these are going to burn my house down. <laughs> Watermelon salad. Um, This, I think, is cooking, right? That's a rice cake soup. Yes, that's going to be on the stove. Uh, this is a dessert, but is it a cake? It's a dessert made of condensed milk, cocoa powder, butter, chocolate sprinkles covered on the outside layer. I think it's a cake, so I think that means cooking. We can try it. We'll try it. It might burn the house down. Who cares? Get some cooking skill going. Uh, oh no, she's going to put it on the stove. Oh god, help us. <laughs> Fire number five incoming. Fire number five. Any second now. No? No? I don't want to jinx it, but... Like... Mm, it looks like to my... All of them. Have you seen when they make a grand meal and it's a roast turkey? And it's basically a tomato sauce in a pot. And then all of a sudden it magically becomes a turkey. <laughs> she did not burn the kitchen down with that. Interesting. Hmm. She is hungry. And that's complete now. So she's all cooked up. She's going to eat that, which is nice. It's like three in the, nearly four in the bloody morning. Um, 
mixologist girl. Can I have her run a club? Join a club, create a club. Um, we're gonna call it the cooking club because I have no originality. Tomatoes become chocolate. Yes, bear that in mind. Is there a cooking? We'll have it as a fire because that's what's gonna happen, isn't it? And we'll add, we'll add Vanessa. I don't wanna add too many people because she's a loner and she's gonna get freaked out. Um, we'll add Vanessa and we'll say club activities. Choose an action, food and drink, um, cook. <laughs> is that good? Is that wise? Is that wise? No, mix bar drinks. I'll have her mix bar drinks, not cook. And I'll have her cook when I ask her to. Otherwise, she's going to cook autonomously and burn the air zone. Um, there we go. Start that club. Start the gathering at like four in the morning. Vanessa's going to be like, what the fuck are you doing calling me over? It's four in the bastard morning, Roxanne. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, right, I'm going to get some club points put together. And how many do I need for like the boosting cooking skill? 400 for gourmet, 400 for normal cooking. And mixology should be on here as well. Yeah, so we're going to need like 1200. I should add some more thing shouldn't i rather than just mixology because she's gonna just stand in there can we have watching tv uh ba -ba 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 fun and games no home activities yes watch tv there watch tv and then i can have her watching the cooking channel at least um go watch the channel watch the cooking show for ideas there you go then you're gonna get the cooking skill up oh and you can do that as well nice and we'll get some points, just some nice easy points, and then I can buy that boost. And I mean, I don't know whether I need to give her the inspiration boost with the club perks. Like the, the vibe thing that you can get because she's kind of inspired all the time from being creative. And from like all this, what does she get? From being inspired from watching TV, from drinking nectar, from being in a club gathering anyway, from eating food, she's already inspired. Oh, I think we'll save the points for that. But I do need a minimum of 400 to get the first one anyway. Um, she starts work in an hour. How's her needs? She's fine. She's good. She doesn't seem to be bothered by her, her being around either. Level 7 already. Bloody hell, Roxanne. Roxanne. Off she goes to work. We're going to leave her behind. But you know what, though? Because the club gathering is still running and Vanessa's here, she'll continue to gain points for us, I think, from watching TV and making bar drinks. I feel like she will, even if we're not here. She's not at the moment because she's just standing around doing fuck all. Vanessa, please prove my point. <laughs> Vanessa, I'm asking you, is she stuck? Is she stuck on the chair? Are you stuck on the chair? I feel like she was stuck on the chair. There you go. Now watch the TV. Is that not gaining any points for us? That should be gaining points for us. Vanessa. Rude. Unless she's just sitting there and not actually watching the telly. I think she is, though. I swear I've had it before. Maybe it's because it was family members rather than just strangers. That might be what it was. I swear that they used to actually add club points on. Unless that's just a glitchy glitch. Right, you're there. What time do we finish work today? Is it five? I feel like it's five, yeah, five o'clock. And we're gonna get another promotion. Sweet. So we're gonna be level three, right? We need to get to level 10. This is gonna take a while because I'm not, I'm not speedrunning it. You could do this faster, absolutely. But I'm not speedrunning it. I'm just testing it out. Busy fruit drink. Are you watching TV standing up there? I hope you are. But you're not adding any club points on, which makes me sad. We have no like, Non activities to do. Where am I? What time is it now? It's still like not four o'clock because we got someone on the lot. It's not super speeding. <laughs> the Vanessa's here. It's slowed us down. We're only going three times speed rather than technically four times speed. We home soon though, and then she needs to have a shower. But before she has a shower, promotion! Yay! 
Roxanne has been promoted to caterer. She will now make an additional 10 simoleons an hour for a grand total of 26. That's a big promotion. She went from one to two and got a one simoleon promotion. And now she's gone from two to three and got a 10 simoleon promotion. That is, that's a good raise. Um, she has also received the following bonuses. 368 simoleons plus the stainless steel auto part. What's an auto part? Is that the tea maker or the coffee maker? <clears throat> her next shift is friday at three. Oh no she works in the afternoons now rather than nine till five she works three to eleven okay that's okay then she works thursday through to monday which means she hasn't got a day off now until monday she's worked monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday and monday she's not gonna get a day off bless her she's gonna be absolutely cream cracker didn't she <laughs> Uh, what do I need to do for a next promotion? Mixology skill level two. Well, let's go and make some drinks. Go make drink. Go make um, a sparkling water. That's cost five simoleons. Are we going to get that skill? Did you get it? No. What? 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 Make, make favorite drink. Go make your favorite drink. What's this? Is this? Do you need resetting? Is that what that is? Because you've still got a skill bar above your head. Reset you. Um, hello? Is Sims broken? No, surely not. Oh, there it is, level two, yay! She was like literally like a pixel away from level two. So that's that done. Um, she's halfway through the daily task. What does she need to do? She needs to get level four on the mixology um, aspiration. She needs to have a, um, a silver medal at a dinner party. We could do that. What time is it, 6 p.m.? We could throw a really, really quick, quick dinner party. Um, let me give her a shower first so she's not stinking. We could throw a really, really, really quick dinner party. Just get silver and then end the event early. Let's go to the phone. Let's go plan a social event. Just so we can get some points so then we can get the bonuses that come with the um, desperation so we can get maybe the entrepreneurial one so she gets promotion faster, which cost 2,000. There was the stoves and grill master one we could go for as well. There was a fireproof one. Um, dinner party. Dinner party, dinner party, dinner party. There it is. A gold event. Uh, they've changed it, right? Um, host is me. I guess we could invite Vanessa and Hinata Nakajima. I don't really know any no two people. <laughs> We're not going to hire a caterer because that's me. And we're going to have it at my house. Is it done it again? Is it changed the, the size of the house again? I hope it hasn't changed. The, no, it hasn't. It's fine. I think from above, it looks different. Or is that because the roof's different? <gasps> I bet it's because the roof's different. Hang on. What does the roof look like? <laughs> I forgot to change the roof. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I forgot to change the roof. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Roofing in this game is, um, it's quite a task in itself, you know? Oh my god, this floating huge roof on top of the place. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, hang on a second. If I make this this size, and then if I make this this size, um, that, that we can also bring this in like this no 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 not 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 that that uh maybe have it like this so it looks a little bit like a born in there why does it shift drag this side yeah that that's not that's not terrible and also also why is this wall empty <laughs> you were hollering over for me to notice did, did you know do you you, you were like the roof's not done she's not gonna know it is i don't look at my house from the top come on <laughs> when do you ever look at the house from the roof <laughs> what's a little fly get away get away i've always got the walls down you need to pee go piss girl go piss girl um, we need to make drinks socialize with my guests have sims dance at the same time i can't do that because i don't have like a thing do i make drinks i will make drinks i need to make three drinks so make um make a drink make a one of these whatever this is 
Hello, alien dude. Oh, wow, look at his suit. This is custom content. That's really pretty. If you need to pee, you better not piss on my floor, Vanessa. You had better not piss on my floor. I swear to God. Is she stuck again? I feel like she's stuck again. Um, we make um, a sweet and spicy. Let me reset her. I feel like she's... Not you. Not you. You. Is she stuck? She's not stuck. She can get out. Go pee. <laughs> I swear to God. He's uncomfortable. Why? Why are you uncomfy? I've made the drinks. Have Sims drink at the same time. Um... Can I call to drink? Or can I make a drink for? Make a drink for Vanessa. And then she'll come over, right? Is Vanessa broken? I feel like Vanessa's broken. I've reset her like 15 times now. Maybe I need to just move this chair. She seems like she's always stuck here. Do you know what I mean? Let me move this a little bit. Oh, I can't move it there because that's there. Can I move the chair? Move this to like, I don't know. Where can I move? I'm going to put this on the outside of the house. Um, move the chair to there. Then hopefully she's got enough room to move. Because... I don't know. She seems like... There she goes. Now she can move. She must have been stuck on the chair somehow. And now... Uh, the pancakes have to the toddler. And they invited you over to meet her. Oh my god, that's adorable. That is so cute. Right, socialize with guests um, four times. So can I chat with you? Share ideas. Oh no, she's cooking. She's cooking autonomously. This is going to be a fire. There's gonna be a fire. Please don't 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 be a fire. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. I th oh no, I, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. That's fire number five. Oh my god. <laughs> don't be on fire. Don't die at your own dinner party. I'm trying to get a silver. <laughs> trying to get a silver award. Oh no, and now the oven's broken, so we can't actually cook the dinner. Oh, bollocks. Um, replace it. Repair, no, clean up. Do a group serving of like salad or some shit, right? Cook, serve dinner. Thank you for the follow, welcome in. Um, Caesar salad. Caesar salad doesn't need cooking, does it? It's just a salad, right? It's, it's just, it's just salad. Caesar salad, why can't you make it? Excuse you? Serve dinner, Caesar salad. There you go. What are you, what are you messing about with? Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. That's weird. I keep thinking this is Vlad. I don't know why. Every time I see him from the back, I think, oh, what's Vlad doing here? No, it's just this alien dude. Gourmet level three. Nice. I know. I'm, I haven't got the... I can't really make a, a counter right now, like, off the bat, but I'm, I'm, keeping, it, I'm keeping it here. I have it on this little note sticky pad here i'm writing them down five five of them so far um can i call to meal yeah call guests to meal and then that's that one done i need to get a silver that's all we need to do tell stories have students drink at the same time um i mean i could add drink as a club activity and then start a club gathering maybe Possibly. I don't know if I can do a club during. No, no, not a club, not a club, but like add them together. Not a club. If I say actions, form a group. That's what I meant. Form a group. Um. Did Vanessa go home? Vanessa! The fuck? <laughs> Vanessa! She was broken, and then there she goes. Now add her to the thing again. Action. Oh, we're inviting. Inviting invite in first. Invite in. Add to group. There we go. Add to the group. And now we can all go and drink together. Can we not drink together? Drink, drink. No, not drink together. Let's go. Why can't I have them drink together as an action? Do you know what I mean? 
I'm also very, very stinky because <laughs> of the fire. Go take a shower. I'm good at Sims, I promise. <laughs> oh no, I don't think we're gonna get the silver. I don't think we're gonna get it. <gasps> Is she drinking? Can I make drinks for everyone? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If I say, make a drink, make drinks for everyone, make an EAPA for everyone. And then hopefully everyone can come and drink, right? 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 Drink. Everyone drink together, please. No, don't you don't you bloody dare go to bed. Don't you bloody dare. Drink this. Come here. Everyone's drinking at the same time, right? 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 Oh no, we only got a bronze. No, Vlad, piss off. <laughs> okay. That was a failure. We can try again another day. It's fine. Go pee like a champ and go to bed. Oh dear. Oh no. It was the fire. I shouldn't have tried to make... To be fair, that wasn't on me. That was not on me. She tried to do that by herself. She made egg and toast autonomously. You can go now. You can leave now. Bye. Send home. Send home. Off you go. Bye. I need to go to bed. <laughs> I have work tomorrow. Please go to bed. Yes, I know. You should get going now. Yeah. Why won't... Is it because the TV's on? The TV's on. I keep forgetting. This is all one big room now. And the sound was waking her up. Everyone can go. Look at the state. There's like dirty plates and dirty cups everywhere. Oh no. And then the floor's a mess because of the fire. Oh no. Oh, they had their baby that it told us about. Oh, so it's working in conjunction with the MSC Command Center. So when we clicked on the... The, um, oh, and these had their baby too. When we clicked on the mailbox to get the notifications from the in-game neighborhood stories, it told us that the Sigworths and the Maloas were pregnant. And now that notification thing, that's from MC Command Center. No, the, not the Maloas, the Kaloa, sorry. Kaloa. They said they were pregnant. That's really cool that it works in conjunction with. I like that. Also, while she's asleep, can I check if something else has happened? The dream house has moved to Evergreen Harbour. Um, a cat was adopted by the Beaver household. Oh, I know. Um, a child was adopted by the Nishidake household in Mount Komarebi. Lovely. The Free Spirits house adopted a dog. <laughs> The Rezoya household adopted... The Rezoyas have adopted a child? So is that like Raj by himself? Because surely at this point, Greta's on the on the verge of death, right? Surely. The Ember household has moved into Forgotten Hollow. What else? What else? At the Akiyama household, Jenna and Kano are having a baby. Oh, I love it. The Goth... Oh, what? 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 The Goth household, Bella and Mortimer are preparing for their baby to be born. The goths are having another baby. Heck. And then the thing of no. The goths are having another baby. A new baby goth, yay! I was scared for a minute when I saw the goth thing. I was like, no, oh, please don't make them die or move out. Please, please, please. But they're having a baby, that's fine. <gasps> you won't believe it. Mark Eggleston is such a sweetheart. I'm in love. <laughs> I love this so much. And I love that this is in-game. This is all in-game stuff. This is not to do with MC Command Center. As much as I love the MC Command Center mod, and I'm so happy to have it in my game, I'm even more happy that um, this is something that, that console players can have now, or people who don't want to have mods in their game, or can't because of like storage or whatever. I love this. I'm so happy for them. Um, quick question. Barco, Jang and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? Yeah, sure, go. Go ahead for him. Aw, Barco is nice. Oh, no. Why? Oh, you know what? I was like, why do we have dust bunnies? Excuse me. I forgot. When we bought the brand new um, vac, we didn't set it up. Auto clean on. Auto clean every 12 hours. There we go. Please get them set up. I forgot we hadn't reset it. And then also clean all this these plates and disgusting bits up, please, because it's disgusting. Look at this house. Vile. And then also you clean all those as well. Good. Well done. Well done. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Vanessa. Do you want to hang out at the discotheque Pan Europa? I mean, do I have... 
time. I'm pretty sure we start work in an hour and a half, so I can't go. I'm pretty sure we start work at three and it's half one. Um, yeah, two hours. We wouldn't have time to get there and get back and actually enjoy ourselves whilst we were there. Um, finish eating, please. What else do we need to do for our job? Everything's done for our job. We just need to work hard when we're there to get some extra points. Um, a dinner party or um level four mixology so maybe maybe i can have her make some more drinks whilst i wait for work to start juice on the rocks i don't know whether water makes them gain mixology skill i think it does free water should look at the skill boost man this tiny home i always forget how op it is it's so op if you don't have the tiny home stuff pack and you like to do um, like skill booty time challenges, I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Um, we'll do a cream cola. Right, there she goes, off to work. She's already in an inspired mood. Let me have her work hard. Off she goes. Fantastic, we should get a promotion today. Everything's in the gold right here. Working hard. Is this gonna go excellent? There's a helicopter going over your house and it's 11.54 p.m. It's been going around for an hour or so. Ooh. Is it like a, a police helicopter? Over there? I hate that. It scares me. It scares me after death. When it's been going around that long and it's they're like, you think, man, they're looking for someone. Are we going to get a promotion today? I think so. Yes, promotion. Second day in a row. Let's go. Roxanne has been promoted to mixologist. She will now make an additional nine simoleons an hour for a grand total of 35. It's not a good neighborhood. Ooh, stay safe. Keep your doors locked, all that kind of stuff, you know. Um, she now has the following bonuses, a 515 simoleon bonus and a kitchen sink. Yay. And she starts work at six. She works six till two. Again, no days off. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Great. I mean, that's good for promotions, you know? It's not good for her getting tense from not getting a day off, but um, she should get promotions a lot faster. You get trained. Yeah, we had um, a Chinook helicopter fly over our house the other day because I live not super close, but fairly close in the vicinity of an RAF base so we get stuff like that too we get like training exercises with um jets helicopters chinooks um that kind of thing um we've got like a big field close enough to us as well so sometimes the air ambulance will land over there because it's a big empty space <gasps> make it rain I don't think I have any mods in right now so I shall do that add points um or oh, 1000 seashells to everyone there you go enjoy thank you ellen and it is battle sims so what time is it now it is 11 p.m she doesn't have work again for 19 hours so we can work on getting that mixology skills level four um uh, make a drink let's make some water i don't you know what she's making water i don't know if it's getting her skill up I don't know if it's counting towards it, you know. I think she has to make it like an actual proper drink. We'll do a sparkling water because it's a five. I don't know, that doesn't count either because there's no bar popping up over her head. So it's sweet and spicy. See, when she makes a proper drink, it pops up, but water doesn't seem to count, which sucks. Uh, make a drink. Let's see, what's the cheapy, cheapy drink? We've got a five dollar one. I think the cheapest drinks are $10, they're like proper drinks. So another sweet and spicy. But it does it does go up really fast because of the, the bonus lot trait for being a tiny home. <gasps> a pregnancy star. Lavina Chopra and Don Lothario. Excuse you, Don Lothario. Now this isn't to do with the in-game. This is to do with the mod. This is MC Command Center. Brittany Cho and Gavin Richards. Lana McKinnon and Jay Huntington the third. Oh, Lana, no, 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 he's not a nice guy. Meredith and Ted Roswell. Nancy and Jeffrey Landgrabber having another baby. Oh, okay. Now I wonder if I click on this, 
if it will tell me yeah that doesn't tell me those ones so nancy and jeff are having a baby because of the mc command center it doesn't pop up in the neighborhood stories that's interesting to note um i did want to i was wondering i wanted to see i wanted to check how the mc command center neighborhood um progression and the in-game neighborhood regression um interacted with each other and that seems to be how right get some more needed that needed that we're in a happy mood it would be better if we were in an inspired mood you know why is she just inspired what's wrong with you a disappointing drink and you're stressed from work come on and it's really <laughs> drinks on this bar some of them are going bad we're nearly there come on one more there you go that section of the aspirations complete so we've got more points now um we have 1800 so we go and buy a reward trait uh let's see what should we do what should we do 1800 i kind of want to get i think i want to get entrepreneurial there's the heat proof one that um ellen was talking about earlier i think no 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 it's not no it's not that's heat proof there's a fireproof one where's the fireproof one is it lower down is it lower down wait wait i thought that, oh, no 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 maybe not then there's a, a heat proof heat acclimatization waterproof um maybe it's not then maybe it's heat proof as opposed to fire so heat proof systems are not negatively affected by hot temperatures and enjoy the heat so that doesn't stop you from being set on fire then we'll get the entrepreneurial one when we can afford it but we can't yet um the stove and grill master we can afford i think i'm gonna save up i'll get the extra like 150 um points 155 points and we'll get the the entrepreneurial one rather than spending them all on the stoves master one um i'm gonna just drag these into the the fridge for us they don't go bad she can go and help herself to those later you know so they're not wasted because we have to pay money for these what else can we do we need to make some drinks which we've done um we've done all the skills so we just need to wait actually so you know what i'll do i'll probably have her fix her needs and then get some sleep if she's got to work until two in the morning i don't want her to be absolutely shattered so go pee go take a shower go grab something out the fridge and then sleep through until it's time to wake up like a normal morning but i don't know how people cope with shift work i've never worked nights or shift work the most i've done is like evening shifts at retail but that's not really the same thing at all i go get some kip i'm gonna save this quickly because i don't want it to reset all the house and everything again i don't know it feels a bit glitchy octavia and thorn had their baby the bjergesons had their baby third shift what's third shift is that like evening until early morning because i know there's like i don't know how they work there's usually three shifts in the day right usually um yeah so that's that's those guys who were all sorted lovely what time is third shift <clears throat> But the only shifts i've ever done is like i guess the closest i've ever done was working at subway um congratulations on your promotion oh thank you vanessa oh look at that calling us so at subway we used to have like breakfast shift lunchtime shift and close shift so like open open lunch and close um i used to really like the open shift loved it it was my favorite shift to do going in in the morning and there was nobody there um prepping all the coffee and um, baking all the cookies all that kind of stuff was really good <gasps> george i've called to inform you that your great great grand second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa like has passed away for some reason and has left a vast fortune specifically to you will you accept i don't know if i want to be bothered with marrying someone in this save file so i'm going to just say under what conditions that's the one that gives you the two and a half grand without anything else isn't it yeah two and a half grand there we go bakery get there at 4 a.m done by one have the whole rest of the day yeah so like it's a pain that you have to wake up early and be there like ridiculously early but you you finish early you finish nice 
So graveyard shift is um, 11 till 7. You literally watch Netflix and Rose lesson plans and got paid for it. Nice. Right, that's my break time reminder again. So I am I'm gonna take a very, very quick break because like we're getting close to the end of stream anyway. But I still need to stretch my arm out. Like I said, my doctor's told me so I don't seize my muscle up. Um so very quick break. I will run a very quick ad. I'm just gonna go and pee and grab a quick snack, I think. I heard my stomach grumbling. Um, continue placing your dudes on the battlefield. Remember, go pee, grab a drink, all those lovely things. I'll be back in just a few minutes. We're back. Let's see if I can get her to. What does she need to do for this aspiration so we can get some more points? Mix three drinks at a single social event. Join the mixology branch of the culinary career, which we're not going to do. Achieve level seven mixology career. So I think it, we're going to have to throw a party, aren't we? We'll try and throw a party. Uh, we've got good needs. It's 12.51 p.m. Um, she doesn't have to go to work until 6. So if I can... I can chuck a little party. Plan a social event. Just just a little one. Um, Plan a little dinner party. Oh, my God. Look at all the dust bunnies. Why is the... um The vacuum not working? God damn it. Dinner party. We'll try again. Host is me. Guests are my only two friends, Vanessa and Hinata. <laughs> They're my only two friends. No caterer. It's gonna take place at my house um, here, the Cherry Residence. It's gonna happen right now. Okay, so I need to make a group meal. Uh, we'll cook um, a salad <laughs> because I don't want to burn the kitchen down. We'll cook a fruit salad, a family size. There we go. Why is this flashing red? Like, it's doing that little flashing red like it's about to end, but it's not ending. It's like, it's happening fine. Right, make a fruit salad. That is done. Um, I need to call the guests to the meal. Don't clean up. Oh my God, don't clean it up. No. <gasps> We're level eight cooking already. Damn. Right, call the guests to the meal. Um, That should tick off now. Yes, that's done. Um, socialize with the guests four times. So can I... Thank you for coming. And thank you for coming. And gossip with you. And share ideas with you. There we go. There we are. Tell stories. Have Sims dance at the same time. Have Sims drink at the same time. Maybe the telling the stories is better because the trying to get them to drink at the same time was so difficult last time. If I go into funny, um, tell a funny story. Oh, the festival of snow is happening. Oh. And then if I go to funny and tell you a funny story, that should be too straight away, right? <laughs> you do gamble all, all the time, right? Um, Momo did gamble all on one yesterday. And she's on like 17 and a half thousand now, I think. Um, can I do a friendly um, tell a story? I know that there are some, but sometimes they're harder to find. Uh, tell. Yeah, I'm going to go back and do a funny story again because that, that one's always there. Um, sometimes tell like an engaging story or tell um, an outrageous story. You need to realize on mood. Tell a funny story is always there. Right, it's the Fintrick Fair. But I don't care about that. Tell three stories, then we should get the silver. As soon as we get that silver, I am exiting out of this so we can get some more rest and tidy the house up. Tell another story, please. Go, 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 sit down. Are you telling the story? I hope that you are. Are, are, are you, though? Roxanne starts work in an hour. Did you tell the story or not? I don't feel like you did. <laughs> Try again. Please tell a funny story before we go to work. Please. Tell a funny story. Just just one more. One more thing and we should get the silver, right? Hopefully. Come on. She's bored from what telling the same like thing over and over again. Yeah, bored from the socialization. I know, I get it, I get it. Discuss interests, I know. <laughs> she didn't do it. <laughs> Go to work. Oh man, we didn't do it again. That's two dinner parties in a row to go to bronze on and failed miserably. Let me get her to work hard while she's at work. Um, 
I don't know if we'll get a promotion today. Can these guys can these go? Can you guys go yet now? The party's nearly over. The reward has ended. We've got, got bronze again. Ah, dear. She's in a confident mood, though. Um, From hosting the party. I mean, it would help if she was in an inspired mood, I believe. But confidence not that bad. She's already in a good range. I don't know whether we're going to get... What time do you work? Till 2 a.m.? I don't think we're going to get a promotion today. But maybe tomorrow? Yeah, she's close. 280. Nice. You're making a fair bit of money, you know. Um, can I um start a cleaning routine? Because I need you to clean up, please. Why is it not working? It, it comes out and then goes back in again. Is it because it's in the corner? Is that is that why? Um where can I stick you? Where you're not going to be blocked off by stuff. Because apparently you're blocking off by stuff over here. Let me just put you over here again. Um, you just went to first one's room. <laughs> Did ya? Now can I try starting a cleaning routine? Because the... There you go. The vacuum was not working at all. You need some fun. Watch some cooking channel or something. Watch cooking channel for ideas. That should be fun. Yeah, that's fun and it's good for your cooking skill. You're uncomfortable because it's messy in here. I know the vacuum should be tidy in itself. Why did the vacuum not get rid of the dust bunnies? And the dust piles? Excuse you? Just bro oh my god, is this robot broken? There we go. <laughs> Why is the sim so glitchy? Why? Why? It doesn't need empty, no, because it hadn't even done anything yet. It wasn't even, like, you being used. And now is she stuck in this corner? Is she stuck in this corner? No. Because they were kept standing there and being stuck in that corner, and it was annoying. Motorbike went back. Um, get leftovers. Uh, and then she needs to sleep. What time does she have work the next day? uh 6 p.m what time is it now 6 a.m she's got 12 hours of work um if it isn't glitching the sims is... <laughs> yeah so let's go if it isn't glitchy is it even the sims too much sims for you Play fast forward you know what i think is funny teza when i'm watching someone stream the sims or if i'm watching like a sims youtube video and i i click on it and try and rotate the camera <laughs> and i'm like I want to see what's over there. Rotate the camera. Oh, I can't. It's your game, not my game. I always do that. Um, what was that? A congratulations on something? That was a congratulations on something, wasn't it? Hello. Do you want to go to the flea market? Nope. I'm sleeping. And I also need to pee, so... Can you do that too? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no. Or you, I press three. So I'm like, three times speed. Three times speed. Go three times speed. Fast forward. Um, Take a shower. And I do really want to try and have another dinner party and hopefully make it a success, you know? You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to buy her a stereo or a speaker at least because then I can add the guests to the group and then have them dance to the music at the same time. That might be easier. But let me go electronics. Room divided to hide her bed. Eh, I don't need it. Besides which, it's by the door, so it's a bit close. I don't care about the aesthetics of the house. Um, music. Um, a speaker, a wall speaker, a residential wall speaker. That's what we need. Pop that over there. Like it's not, it's not bad. It doesn't bother me that the bed's there. What are you doing? Make um, make a social event again. <laughs> You miss speed four. Yes, when it goes like speed through until that task is completed. Yes, I miss that too. Um, all right, we'll try again, shall we? Dinner party. Host Sim, Roxanne. Guests are only two friends. No caterer and then at our house. Okay, it's gonna happen now. Make a garden salad. Okay, cook. Cook, garden salad. Where is it? Guardian salad, family size. So we can call the three people to the meal that are here. And garden salad because we won't burn the kitchen down, which is nice. 
And then I need to thank a guest for coming and then call the guests to the meal. This seems easier. This seems easier to complete this time. We might actually get the silver, <laughs> she says, hopefully. It's already quarter to three in game. Come on. Come on. Come on. Make that call them to meal as soon as it's ready. Stop talking to them, please. Stop chatting to your guests unless you're actually thanking them for coming to your house. Make the make the make the dinner, Roxanne. Roxanne, make the dinner. It's the, she's literally. It's nearly four o'clock. She stood talking to them for an hour. Finish making the goddamn salad, Roxanne. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Call to meal. Thank you. Call to meal. Come. On. Everybody, sit down, please. Eat at the same time. Are we all eating at the same time? Yes. Nice. Thank you, guests, for coming. That one's easy. Go. Thank you, guests, for coming. That should be easy peasy. Yes, silver. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> okay, now I can end it. Now I can end it. End it early. Thank jeez. Oh no. You know what? <laughs> I've just realized I was on the wrong aspiration. <laughs> I was on the mixology aspiration. No. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, stupid. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oh my god, she goes to work in an hour. Okay, well, we're gonna have to try it again tomorrow. Well, at least I have a, a speaker now. I'm gonna have to remember to keep turning it off though, because you're going to work. I can't believe that I did that. Bloody hell. Vanessa! Hey, Roxanne! <gasps> I think I have a crush on Erwin Pryors. Do you think it's worth a try? Vanessa, sweetheart. Vanessa, she's going out with Mark Eggleston, is she not? Hmm. Yes, go for it. You should think about your yourself or i don't think it's a good idea i want to poll it chat what do you think we should do let me do a poll new poll um what should vanessa do oh my headphones are on the blow battery um i need to put them on charge but it's okay not long left now um go for it um decide herself or nope um, we'll do that just for one minute rather than two whole minutes. One minute. There we go. Start the poll. What do you think Vanessa should do? She already contacted us about Mark Eggleston and she said she was in love with Mark Eggleston. But now she's calling us about Erwin Pryors. I don't know. I don't even know who Erwin Pryors is. Who the fuck is Erwin Pryors? Sims. Who's Erwin Pryors? Is it like a, a new Sim? Or is it the... Oh, it's the conspiracy theory guy with the colander on his head. <gasps> you always say yes. I always say yes. You have to head out. No worries, Ninja. I'll be heading out soon anyway. But thank you for hanging out for this whole time. Um, Very, very good luck to you um, with your potential clients. Um, I'm sending you all the good vibes. Have a good one. Let me know how you get on. Here's the cutie from Strangerville. <laughs> Okay, read it now. Have a good one. Let me know how you get on in Discord. What should Vanessa do? What did you guys say? Run out of seconds. And you've all decided. Go for it. 62, 67% said yes. Okay, so yes, go for it. She's meant to be going out with Mark Eggleston. Funnily enough, both Mark Eggleston and Erwin Pryors are both from Strangerville. Seems like Vanessa's got her heart set on moving to Strangerville. Are we, are we working hard, by the way? I don't know if we are. No, we're not. Work hard. Work hard. I want to get that level 5 promotion today. There we go. Level 5 promotion. Yeah. Was it 2 to 1? Nice. Two thirds of people said the 1. Okay. That one's sorted. We're on a good cleaning system now. Promotion to line cook. Oh no, we've got the workaholic lifestyle. I don't want the workaholic lifestyle. It sucks. It's the worst. Um, she's made an additional eight simoleons an hour for a grand total of 43 an hour now. Not too bad, actually. Not bad, not shabby. 
She's also received the following bonuses of 556, an island counter, and new clothes. Nice. And she's going to be working today, which is Monday. It's currently 2 a.m. Monday. She's going to be working at 2 p.m., so she needs to get some sleep. Um, but where are we? We're at two minutes left on the battle. So I'll just play through a little bit longer until the battle's ready. Hey, Meg. Hi. The unlucky chef scenario. Yeah, it's so fun. So we've gone with, we're going to go with the chef route rather than the mixology route <laughs> because it's more chaotic that way. And we've had five fires so far. And um, But it's easy to get around it because you don't need to cook the hot meals. You can just literally make salad the entire time, right? Um, ooh, yes. Mixology is too easy. Yeah, because you're kind of avoiding the whole point of the scenario, in my opinion, if you do that route. Um, actually, let me look on the cooking now. Now we're level 8 cooking, I think we are. What else? Yeah, we're level 8 cooking. What else can we make that's, like, cold? Gumbo's cooking. Apple pie, no, 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 no. Fruit cobbler, that's cooking, isn't it? It's like a, a baked thing. All of these you need. Oh, perk paneer. I don't know whether the product paneer needs cooking or not. Probably does. The buttered crumpets shouldn't. Unless you're baking the crumpets from scratch and then it, I think you are. Yeah, because it needs flour. Um, all of these need to be cooked. Baked chocolate mousse obviously needs cooking as well because it's baked. All of these need cooking. Every single one. Oh my god. There's not very much you can make that's cold, right? Is this cooking as well? Yes, it's a fritter. Berry scones, maybe, possibly. The dango I know needs cooking as well. The bills are coming. I see him. I see him. Hello. Oh, Vanessa, hello. <gasps> Roxanne, I need to challenge myself. A new job might be the solution. What do you think? Yes, absolutely do it. The bills are only 239 simoleons. Yeah, we'll, we'll pay our bills when she's got up. Not too bad, considering we've got like nearly 13 grand. Um, pay the bills. We earn about that from one shift, right? Go take a shower. Um, go eat some leftovers. And then we need some fun, so I'll get her to watch the cooking channel. For funsies and for recipes and skills. Do you earn recipes from watching the cooking channel? <gasps> watch culinary training video. What's that? Ooh, also our battle is ready. Culinary training video? Do we earn recipes from this? I really hope we do. Also, when she gets a day off, I would like her to go to the city and try and learn some recipes from the city. <gasps> Guess what? My, my date with Erwin Priors went very well. What does Mark Eggleston think about your date with Erwin, Vanessa? Or did you guys break up and didn't tell me? We're meant to be besties. Okay, work starts in an hour. I will do our battle to Sims. I want to send her off to work. Um, she has work at two. Um, oh, she's making some more drinks. Don't make more drinks, please. Go to work. And have you work hard. And then let's see what she does. I don't think she's going to get a promotion today. Because she's not done her daily tasks. She has got the promotional um, tasks already done. But I don't know. The higher you get up the career, the less likelihood you're going to get a performance uh, boost that big on your first day, right? Um, we got like 19, 20. She's home. She did not get promotion. 344, though. We're in the good range. So hopefully she'll get a promotion next time she goes to work, which will be on Friday. So she doesn't work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, so she's got a few days off there. Now... What do you want to do, um, Chattykins? What would you like to do? You know, next time we play Sims. So um, Thursday, we're going to be back in the Stardew Valley Community Center Challenge save. Um, and then next Friday, we'll be back here in the Sims. Do you want to continue with this scenario next time we play Sims? Or would you prefer to go back to Breeding the Weird? Because I'm kind of liking doing the scenarios, I'll be honest. Um, Breeding the Weird's kind of... I don't know. It's not exciting me as much as it used to. This, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling it. Like, reading the weird isn't exciting me as much as it used to, which makes me sad. Um, yeah, I'm getting a bit bored with it, <laughs> which I normally do. I play a legacy, get to like generation four-ish and then drop off the idea of playing it. 
I need something to spice it up again for me. But we'll come back to this on Friday if you prefer. We're about halfway through, right? We're on level... Yeah, we're on the level 5 of the career. We need to get to level 10. So we're like halfway through it. But yeah, let me save that. Save. And then save and exit. Oh, thank you for that follow. Welcome here. Nice to see you. Come over here. Okay, so as I said, for those of you who are in new who don't know me, hi, by the way, I'm Jenny. Um, I play a lot of cozy games, a lot of simulation games. Um, Sims and Stardew Valley is the main games I'm playing at the moment. I only stream twice a week. That's a Thursday and a Friday. Um, my family uh, take up quite a lot of my time. So Thursdays we're going to be playing on Stardew. Friday we'll be back here in The Sim. 